sorry about that. I'm a little bit shorter, <laughs> a little bit less exciting and red-haired and all, and all, and all full of glamour and, and, and I can't sing as well as Hannah, uh, but I'm here. So does that help? Okay. Uh, so we're going to have a really, really fun show. Um, Hannah's not here, but I've got all of her usual fun and games. So we've got some apparel items, we've got some beauty items, we've got some gold. We have all the usual Wednesday excitement that you're expecting, except you've got me. Uh, which I hope is a bonus. Yes. Yay, yeah, yeah, good answer, good answer. Um, so let's have a little talk about how we work on the live stream. If you haven't joined us before, welcome. It's We have a lot of fun. We're here for about two hours. We are gonna get into some really, really fun items today. Um, if you see something you love, if you're shopping on our social media pages, very, very easy to do. You're gonna comment sold on the item number and that'll DM you a link to buy the item. You can, of course, just go straight to the Shop Aussie website grab the item that you're looking at. If you're shopping on the website, super, super easy, the item should be on screen. You should just be able to click on it to add it to your cart. If you get stuck, if you have any questions, you can call the personal shoppers at any time. We'll make sure that their number's in the comments for you. Talking to the comments, as we go along today, you can comment about almost anything as we go along today. We'd like to hear positive things, questions about the product, um, a little bit about what you're up to today, things like that. Uh, if you've got any uh, concerns or complaints, hopefully they're about Chris. I say that every wow. time. <laughs> every time. Uh, actually, Chris was super, super useful this week. He came to my house and helped me build a desk. Oh my God. Uh, yes, bless St. Chris. He is nice. my hero this week. Because the, I've now realized, and I think, I think it's probably because, I don't know, you just pass 40 and you start losing your faculties one by one. Um, <laughs> that's the way it goes. True story. Uh, I'm now coming up to my mid 40s and all of a sudden I can't lift heavy objects. I literally can't do it. Um, so this desk got delivered and I tried to take just the desktop alone out of the box and I couldn't lift it. And I was like, oh, great. <laughs> I'm useless. So that was fun. Uh, but Chris came and helped me with it. So yay. Yay, Chris. He is useful for something, no matter what they say. <laughs> Um, so yes, gratitude to Chris this week. Now, uh, so what do we what do we need to cover? We need to cover all. Oh, if you're shopping with us today and you put fifty dollars or more on your cart, you're going to get free shipping. So that's good news. Um, if you are buying things that are under fifty dollars, maybe you want to put a few things in your cart and then check out at the end. If you do that, I will remind you at the end to check your cart out because it's very important to check out when we finish the show today because the prices that we've been negotiated that have been negotiated with the show are only for 24 hours. So if you don't buy it now, you may find that there's low stock and it's gone. And I will warn you where possible where we've got super, super low stock on things, or you'll find that the price has gone up after 24 hours. Um, Stephanie and DJ have a, a method for bringing you the live stream items when they put things together in the show. They go and visit our executives and persuade them to mm -hmm. drop the prices on them. Now, it they don't call DJ the hammer for nothing. Right. We, okay. We're not quite sure what happens in, behind that closed mm -hmm. door, but DJ comes out and goes, okay, prices are where we want them to be, lads, off you go. Mm -hmm. And then he, walk, he saunters off. He doesn't walk off, he saunters off. I, and that's, yeah. I don't ask. I don't no. ask. You don't um, need to know. Yeah, it's Stephanie knows, and she just nods with a wry smile and says, don't cross that man. And I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, so yeah, so the prices are very low for today only, just for you guys on the live stream, because it needs to be worth shopping with us. It needs to be worth tuning in. If you are shopping with us right now, maybe you want to like and follow, because if you do that, your social media platform will ping you next time we're on. Maybe you want to tell a friend. Maybe you want to start your own little watch party. Maybe text someone right now and be like, hey, I'm on the Shop I'll See live stream. Join me, we can shop together. It would be so much fun with a friend on board as well. Right, is that all my admin? Did I cover everything? You, you did beautifully. Okay, great, great. It's been a challenging day, guys. There's been a lot going on right now, and I am on the brink of flu season here in, in Texas. You know, the kids go up to school in Texas, it's like end of August, and then they start passing germs around amongst themselves, so all the kids get sick, like August, September, and then in sort of September and October, then the adults get sick. I feel like it's just about to come my way. I feel it coming. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's where we're at right now. So. Speak it in the universe. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like every day I come into work and someone who's a parent has like got their face mask on because they know, they know they're sick. It's like, oh no, it's coming, it's coming. 
It's like, it's like, I mean, they call it flu season, but I feel like it's just child germ season. <laughs> so those nasty children that are touching each other and they bring it home. Oh my goodness. All right, so should we do, should we look at some products, shall we? Uh, let's start with the fabulous Tamsi Jumpsuit. Jumps and I'm lucky enough to be joined by a runway model today. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's true. The lovely Stacey is joining me. Um, this one looks so designer. I see how you like pick the best one. You're like, I okay, love this one. I was in first. I'm having the best one. I know. They're all really beautiful, yeah. but I love this pattern. There's yeah. something very, oh, there you are. <laughs> I know you are. You're in, you're in stereo. <laughs> I'm in stereo. Um, I love this pattern. It's very classic. Yes. You know, and it's also like borderline work attire. Oh, well. you know what I mean? yeah, you could put a, put a black blazer, blazer yeah. or jacket with that yes. and totally be at work. And of course, you can do karate whenever you like. I can. I can. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I still can. I can bend and I can kick and I can move. Uh, they do come in very beautiful patterns. This swirly one is very like nautical. These are basically the two we have left. The, oh, we only the, have two left? Yeah. We have like one in each. People have to move okay. fast. Okay. So oh. we have our swirls over here. Um... So this, this is very classic like too. Swirly. I like the swirly as well. So this is like a that's a that's a navy blue, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's navy blue and white. You could throw a jean jacket on over a crisp white jacket with a oh, fabulous like a as well. White jacket, yeah. Sure. Do we have any of this one at all? Yeah. Do we have this one? There's one of those. One oh, of those. Yes. If that's the one you want, ladies and gents, um, mainly ladies, but hey, boys, I mean, if you, you want to wear it, it's fine. Hey, whatever you like around yeah, here. Yeah, it's all good. Um, then you want to grab this one quick. And these are going to be in our one size fits most category. So mm -hmm. let, let's get real about sizing. Um, okay. Had, I mean, we know that Hannah, how tall is Hannah? Hannah, I believe is about 5'10", yeah. yeah. She's 5'10", and she's pretty much at the brink of the sizing height-wise, right? Right. I mean, yes. So depending with, on the length of your torso. Exactly. So for me, um, you know, I'm 5'2". I am wearing bigger shoes, so I'm probably right now about 5'4", five, 5'5". Five, five. So you've got lots of leg length. I do, and it's kind of just skimming the top. So I think with Hannah, if she wore flip-flops, mm -hmm. it'd be good. And then if I took these off, you know, they might be touching the ground, but all sizes. I mean... So a taller person could wear a flat shoe with these and they'd still hit the floor. A uh, taller person, well, at 5'10", no, you, yeah, it's a flat shoe, yes, yeah. you're right. You're okay, shoe, yeah. but this is going to be, and I'll show you the inside of here, this is going to be very, very simple, um, this is a polyester, right? Let me find our care label. Uh, you scroll. I think we're in 100% yes, polyester. polyester. Polyester with just a dash of spandex there. Um, it says a 30 degree wash. All of my Tamsy stuff that's got this exact same care la label and this exact same fabric gets thrown in the laundry at 40 degrees with everything else. <laughs> there's, I know. There's no mine special. Mine too. Mine too. I just throw it all in. There's no special washing. So if you wanted to bring this up, it would be very, very easy if you are that way inclined on a sewing machine, or you can use some of that. Uh, what do they call the tape you put in, like Wonderweb? Oh. Where you can just like fold the hem and yeah. iron it in. Yeah. Uh huh. Iron the tape. That uh, would... No iron or no. Um, yes. It's I like know. a no stitch. Tape. Yeah. You could very, very easily do that with that one and then just bring it up a little bit if that's what you wanted to do. Very easy yes. to do. But this is going to work for most people because between you at 5'5"? Five, 5'2". Five? Five two. Five two. Five two. I'm sorry, 5'2". I'll two. take 5'5". Five five. In, in uh, espadrilles. Yeah, but yeah, 5'2 two to 5'10", we know it's going to work You know, somewhere around the right height for feet. Okay, awesome. Okay, and it has our signature super wide Smocked waistband. waistband. So it cinches you in the waist. Nice. Yes. Brings, this is, yes. Brings the shape. The other thing I love about these wide waistbands, and it's so important on the one size fit, fits most items, is that that will fit your waistline somewhere. So you've got, what's that, three inches, maybe four? Let me grab my ruler. Let me check with the ruler. So that waistband, yeah, so that's three and a half inches of smocking right there. That means your waistline will be in there somewhere. So that's what, that's one of the things that makes this so, um, so versatile in terms of sizing because it doesn't matter whether your waist is here or whether it's here right or whether it's here it's still hitting in roughly the same point it's giving itself three and a half inches of grace to find your waistline right and if you have a shorter torso which i don't really have a long torso it, you know you could bunch it up a bit and if you were a little bit taller you'd have the three and a half inches i and mean the, most people yeah. are longer than that and the trick here is if you are taller and it's hitting on your waist like here 
you then add a belt there and it, oh. and it looks like it's a wider waistband you just hide the bottom half yeah that's it. a great idea i do that all the time um so the other thing i want to point out while we're here is how far this overlaps and i'm going to get my ruler in shot here uh yeah we've got about three inches of overlap here that's important because it means your crossover neckline is going to mm. stay crossed we're not going to have any flashing <laughs> you're going to be able to right. bend over and pick something up without <laughs> that's to scare people there'll be no flashing yeah there will be no flashing with this and a lot of our tamsy designs have that wide generous crossover and that with the smocking as well is the other genius behind this one size fits all approach that we do i want to Hang this on here. And if you have, you know, a larger chest or a smaller chest, it'll accommodate that as well. Because with a larger chest, you do have the fabric yeah. that will, you know, accommodate that. It will accommodate the girls, <laughs> yeah. You can also, like, if you wanted to, you could, you know, you could flash a little cleavage yeah, by can. moving it over. But you can also just make it like this. So there's no bend over, uh, you know. Yeah, it keeps, <laughs> keeps your assets covered yes. if you need to grab yeah. something. Keeps your modesty in, in check. Um, and that's the benefit as well of having the, the deep V uh, with the with the with generous crossover and the smocking there. It means that it's got some give, it's got some move. So if you wear it and, it, and you pull it apart because you've got wider shoulders, right? Um, it's still going to stay together. A lot of the time, a lot of the time, I can't wear these crossover necklines because I just like I'm wider in the shoulders in the back here. Oh, okay. And so I will pull open that V oh, neck, and then okay. I have to wear a tank underneath. Yeah, you, so. you could though. You, I mean, you don't have to, but you could even wear a little cami yeah, if you wanted to. A little lacy chain A little something. To. Then we have the flutter sleeves. Now, what I enjoy about these is they've just got that interlock um, edging on them, which makes them very, very simple. Right. But it also means that they have maximum fluidity of movement because there isn't a hem there. You haven't got that double edge of fabric. It's just very, very loose and breezy, which also right. means crushes down easily. If you want to put a jacket on, you're not going to have a yeah. bulky sleeve mark. Um, we could do with, do you want to yes, throw the jacket that. on? Thank you. Um, which is the joy of this fabric, because this is so, so drapey. The fabric itself has got a little bit of stretch here. Let me show you the stretch on the leg. This has got a little bit of stretch, so you have got some room here as well. But with the drapey fit, and then of course, the smocked waistline as well. Look how far out that comes. It goes right in for those who need it but also right out for those who, who need a little bit more room in the waistband as well. So when we say one size fits most, it really does cover a lot of sizes and really, really well. So Stacey's grabbed a jacket now, and you'll see we don't have bulky marks where her sleeve stops there. That's my pet hate. Ah. I hate that. You have, you have like a favorite dress, you put on a jacket, and then you have a sleeve mark. Right, and the line's through. No, it just it, it lays down properly. Yeah. So very nice, yes. I like to do this. This is how I show the waistband. Mm -hmm. Because it is one size fits most. I mean, yeah. wouldn't you say that it would be up to, wouldn't you say up to? Oh, wow. I mean, 2X yes. at least. So this will come like right out. Yeah, I mean, you've got room. Yeah. And if you do it this way, I mean, you've got room. But most importantly, it's comfortable. <laughs> So you do have room. So, you know, there's some days, obviously, our bodies fluctuate. So, yes. you you know, it, it'll fit in a different different types of bodies. And it's very much like a one and done. And you'll, you'll notice from when you see me on my off days, like when I'm in the studio, I've often got like one of my work shirts on and I'll pair it with a pair of pants. On my day off, I'm often just in one stretchy dress and that's it. Like that's my go-to oh, look. Yeah. Done. Um, and this fits so well with my aesthetic because you throw it on one thing done you don't right. worry about mixing and matching and coordinating and is this going to work you put it on you pick your shoes you pick your jewelry you got good oh yeah because like, i don't know about you but picking my jewelry is like one of the highlights of the day <laughs> i have a drawer in my closet and i'm like oh, yeah. fancy pants open my treasure of wonders wonder okay. treasure of wonders Ooh. yeah and then i'm just like Ooh, and i bet you got more now since spark of being that. here yeah. <laughs> like eeny meeny miny yes and then my husband's just like do you not have enough yet no. Did you buy some more? No. Why did you buy more this week? And I'm just like, well, I need more. I need I need it. Always. I need it. First of all, you, you say, don't ask dumb questions. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just joking. Silly. <laughs> Silly <laughs> questions. Um, so it also has pockets. Oh, yeah. Let's mention it's that so because that perfect. is like a plus for everybody. I put it on and I forgot and I was grabbing something and I w went like this. I'm like, oh. Pockets. It's got pockets. It's got pockets. Very comfortable. Um, not clingy, airy. Mm -hmm. So it's not hot and sweaty or anything. It's just it's it's not hugging 
tight on anything. Oh, yeah. Which I appreciate. Yeah, it's not giving you, like, that whole, like, slicked-in bum look. I no. Or, I, know, yeah. Yeah. I know the kids these days are walking around in their leggings with their small tops, and I'm like, do you not want to cover that? <laughs> no, they don't. They, <laughs> they're like, no, no this no. is my bottom. I'm wearing it. They have a whole um, different brand of acceptance that we yes. grew up with. Yes. <laughs> yes. So good for them. Yes. But I do have to say that everybody who's worn this at the studio, we've had um, hosts and models, and everybody not only has worn it, modeled it, but bought it. Yes. So I know Dion has this one, and she looks, oh my gosh, absolutely. Well, oh, she's gorgeous she anyways. She's the I mean, she's, one. Yeah, so she looks absolutely stunning in this. And Katie, Katie bought the same two. one. Katie's got a green one too, right? She's got a green one, and yeah. I believe she got this one because yeah, Dion, she got that one yes. because Dion had it. Uh -huh. Um, and Kim bought, I think, the blue swirly one. Mm -hmm. um, they, they're all beautiful, and everybody's a different height, a different shape, and it just looks fabulous on everybody. Really I don't think, have, have you tried one on? You've tried one on. I right? have, I've tried yes. one on, yeah. Um, I have the black one with the dots on, which I think was Yeah, was it this one? No, that's no, the daisy. That's, that's the daisy. It was a different one. Maybe, maybe my one was the one from the, from one of the previews. Yeah, they so we we blew them out. So yeah, we are down to one. Which I this I love. Well, let's go through love. the price and your colors yeah, and let's see what we've one. got left. So the price on this one, I can't believe we haven't even got to this yet. I'm very excited about the price here. Um, the price here is nineteen ninety nine for a whole outfit. Like that's the way you have to think about it. A whole outfit yes. for twenty bucks. Done. Awesome. So the price is amazing. That's six dollars sixty seven because you can put it on budget pay. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. That's that's about how much I spend on the vending machine every shift. Um, <laughs> so we have the black checkered print, which Stacey is wearing, which looks very much like um, a certain designer brand, which comes from Lazy mm -hmm. Stoke, mm -hmm. which is where I'm from. I know exactly what brand. Yes. Um, so that one, how many of those do we have in the checkered print? We have 74. 74, okay. okay. Good. Good available. Good, because that's my favorite. Okay. Yeah, so I, I, yeah, I think so too. 74 of those. And then how many have we got of the circle? Circles. Circle, we have, where is it? 148. Okay, nice. 148 of the circle. Good news on that one because navy blue is having a thing. Do you remember in the 1980s when Princess Diana used to wear navy blue? Like mm -hmm. shoes, handbags, mm -hmm. lots of dresses, mm -hmm. all the time. That was her jam. Even her engagement rings and that thing on Sapphire, which was in blue. Ooh, beautiful. Like it was a big thing for Princess Diana. And I haven't seen navy blue be that cool since. Well, this fall. It's coming back. <laughs> like a movie trailer. Um, but yeah, navy blue is going to be big news this fall. So I'm starting to collect my navy blue um, items and accessories to throw in with my existing stuff just to keep my look on trend. Because that's how we do it. We just add a few key things every right. season. You're right. Uh, and then we have, which one is that? Navy floral, which is this one? Um, I don't know, actually. That is navy floral, is it not? Oh, yeah, it is. It okay. Is. So navy floor, how many of those? One. One. One of those. Oh yeah, we said that one. And what else have we got in this we one? We also have black daisy. Oh, how many left in the black daisy? Also one. One. Oh, of those. one. Okay, so a lot uh, of the other ones that we don't have in the studio, we've just got one of. How many in the multicolor rose? Also one. One. Wow. The navy polka dot. Two. Two. <laughs> Two of those. That's a fun one. Yeah, it is fun. Out. And the Baroque print? Also one. One of those. Okay. So very, very limited quantities, except the circles and the uh, and the brown and black check. I wonder if they sold out first and we restocked those and we haven't restocked the others yet. Could be. Perhaps. So very, very low quantities of that one. So grab it now when you see it. Um, I think we covered everything. We covered the pockets, didn't we? We did. The pockets. I love the way that it's so easy to wear to work. You could st dress it up for a night out very, very easily, put some Definitely. killer heels on, and it's good to go. And it's just so easy, just one and done. But one of my favorite Tamsy pieces. Yeah, so, so versatile. All right, so let's move on to our next item. So we are going for our fleece next. We have this in two colors. So I'm going to throw on our black one here. Well, let's take a look. Let me, let me bring Angelique into the frame here. Can you, can you see her? Oh, okay. okay, so we have our standing collar here, so that's great for keeping the wind out. If you want, you can fold it down and have a more uh, preppy kind of look going on. We have the zipper up the, up the front here, easy glide zipper with the little tabs for durability and ease of use. We have zippered pockets either side here, 
very handy for not dropping things when you move around. And then we have just a very plain back on it for a clean line. So I'm going to try this one on. Oh, do we have, is that a video? Or is that a know, still from a video? Is that me? That's not my nails, is it? No. Uh, <laughs> that might be you. I'll tell you right now. The nails look like you, but it looks a bit like Courtney. No, that's not me. <laughs> Whoever it is has a microphone on it, sit down. Yes, yes, yes. That's not, no, because I have my same necklace. Okay. Okay. Anyways, all right. So I was going to pull my sleeves down because I bunched my sleeves up. I've got to say, these sleeves are roomy. Yeah, they're nice. I can literally put my whole hand up the sleeve. That's unusual. What size do I have here? I think you have large. Let me check. Extra large. Okay, I have an XL. That's why it's like, woof. Got some space in here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is going to be your winter lifesaver. Oh, yeah. This is warm. It's Spacious, it's comfortable. I've got the XL on here and I normally wear a medium, so you'll already be able to see that there's a lot of room in here. What size are you wearing, Stacey? I am wearing a large. Okay, let's check okay. that out. And you normally wear a medium in Tansy, right? Yeah, yeah, same thing. Okay. And is that that feels like it's you know bigger than you normally wear? Um a little bit, but I, I like a large in a jacket because you're usually wearing a long sleeve underneath. It's it's I usually wear a medium. This is a large, but because of the cut of it. I actually, I think I would prefer a large. Right, okay. Right. Um, you so can also zip this part up, so even though it's large, it's not like it's swallowing my chin or anything. Oh yeah, I hate that with jackets. Um, and the sleeves are a good length. I love this length, because I like my hands like this, but Bundled obviously up, yeah. you could roll it if you like. And I love the straight cut. <laughs> Sometimes when you're feeling a little fuller that day, uh -huh. a straight down cut is just nice because then you don't have to worry about anything. Yeah, sometimes you don't want to be accentuating curves. Yeah, sometimes you don't. Sometimes there's just days where you just want to be warm, cozy, um, look pulled together and be out the door and this to oh, me I'm liking is the like... rolled sleeves. Yeah, this to me is a definite winter staple. Yeah, definitely. Fall too. It's, it's actually fall too because it's not the thickness of it. Is there an inside pocket? Let's see. Oh yeah, I think it's just plain on the oh. inside. Okay, bonus. Nice, cell phone can go in there. For sure. Awesome, awesome. Okay, two on the inside. Oh wait, yeah, well it doubles. Yeah. I'm touching my own hands, holding my own hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but definitely good for fall as well. It is not super heavy weight, but because of the material, it is very warm. Mm-hmm, yeah. Yeah, it's warm. So I would, um, I would thoroughly recommend this for wearing just your outer layer in the fall. Right. In the winter, this is something that you could put on even under a winter coat for an extra oh, layer. Oh, for sure, yes. Especially if you're going to zipper it first. Um, I would definitely have one of these in your car. Because mm -hmm. some days I, knit, I jump in the car and the car's in the garage and it's warm in my house, it's warm in my car, it's warm when I get to work. But sometimes right. I have to get out of the car and I didn't think about that. Right. So I need a jacket which is actually just lives in the car. So that this, I, this, I see you, Heather, wearing this after jogging. Yes. Because I know, because Heather is an avid runner. Yes. <laughs> Bless her. I am not. And I... I'm a Clydesdale. You're, you're, <laughs> a, you're a gazelle. <laughs> I'm like, clunk, clunk, clunk. I, I literally do not know how to run. I Googled it once, and my husband was making fun of me, like, who Googles how to run? I'm like, I must be doing something wrong, because I don't... I, everything hurts. One foot in front of the other, keep going. <laughs> I don't know. I, that's, and that's I, and I look like... I look like uh, whatever character was on Friends running like. Oh. <laughs> I'm not a great runner. Is it Chandler who runs like that? I think it's probably Chandler. Yeah. But I um, can see you, like, after a run when you're a little bit chilled from yeah. the sweat, throwing this on and Because we'll often good. stop and have, like, coffee and, like, donuts after our group runs. Huh. And I am, I am known for, like, everyone else is in their tank top, like, in, in October. Like, yeah, 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 just hanging out after my run. I will always either bring a jacket and put it on a fence right um and everyone's like you're just gonna leave it there i'm like yeah because <laughs> i need it when i come back <laughs> or i will literally okay. go all the way to my car and come back because i will not stand around in a tank top i'm like you guys are crazy yeah it's so chill. but it's perfect for that you can just like roll it up throw it in your car um i just feel like even you know honestly i think it's almost kind of like unisex too like i could see my son throwing this one on you know if i had it in my car i would use it he could use it it's just kind of like a standard yeah I mean, everyone wants a, a fleecy nice warm cozy jacket that's not like swallowing you or very overwhelming it's not obviously yeah. a heavy winter coat or one of those jackets but 
I mean, it is so cozy and just lovey. You, the minute you put it on, it's like wearing a blanket. Right. It's so, so It's warm. exactly like a fleece blanket. So let's talk about our sizes and our prices here. We Do we have any comparisons or anything, DJ? Uh-huh. Because I, didn't, I even, so. didn't even ask about it for the previous item. Double check real fast. I'm going to do some quick styling here. I'm going to do some sleeve rolling like Stacy did. That's, that's the way to roll here. Now, I recommend you get your correct size. We have this in sizes. Me small, medium, large, XXL, and 1X. Oh, here. we have a double XL. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. So we have some availability on sizes. We have various different colors, um, which we'll go through in just a second. Um, uh, is that price Ooh. point going to change as well? Yes. Okay. Oh, the pop-ups. Okay. Pricing is going to get a little bit complicated here. Oh, no, no, no. They're just showing me the... The sold out sizes. They're okay. all the same. Okay. Oh, okay. Ooh. And in the other colors? What about that uh, blue one? That's a pretty blue. Oh, there's no images all of a sudden. There we go. Okay, so we have it in teal, teal which we don't have here. Um, but that's your classic teal. Um, Ooh, we I have it in olive. I didn't see that one. You know, olive is a big trend for nails in the fall. I would love to have an olive jacket and then have matching olive nails. Oh my gosh, fancy um, pants. And if you go out hunting with your husband, you're going to want the olive one. So you blend in with the, <laughs> with the, with the undergrowth. All right. Uh, charcoal we have it in, which is a great neutral. We yes. have it in the black. We have it in the burgundy. We also have it in gray, which is more like a, a, like a, a dove gray. Yeah. A lighter gray. A light color. gray. Mm -hmm. um, most of them are available in all sizes. Some sizes have sold out already. But your price point here. And I do have a comparison. Oof. Oh my goodness. Okay, that one. Who makes that? Does it end with a bower, maybe? Mm. It looks like the tag. I don't know. Yeah. Um, okay. So you could buy one for $147. Wow, that's a lot of money. Okay. Um, in all honesty, you know, when it comes to a jacket like this, you can be all over the shop price wise. Uh, but of course, we have got the lowest of the low prices here. We're at $17.99. And what I love about this one is, first of all, it's on budget pay. Three payments of six bucks. <laughs> oh, crazy, crazy. But at $17.99, especially with this plain design, you could think about getting this one for your company logo. Oh my gosh, yes. Or if you have any of our little shop LC brooches. I just bought one for my friend. It's got a, a King Charles spaniel on it, just like hers. Oh, really? And I was like, now you need a black winter coat, and you just pop a little brooch on there. That's what you need to do it. So yeah, so this will be perfect for wearing your brooches with. Right. Uh, perfect for you know if you want to like print a logo on the back, or maybe you're on the PTA and all the PTA moms need one in school <laughs> colours with your name badge on. Yeah, that might be the way to. We go just talked about the school moms. Oh yeah, yeah? <laughs> you should make one for your group. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> so in my neighbourhood, we have a little group of moms who all live in the same end of my street, and we call ourselves the housewives because. Well, we're not. None of us are housewives, but it's <laughs> ironic. And that's actually going to be our Halloween costume this year. Oh, no way. That's We're going to go as the housewives, and there's going to be like seven of us like in our high housewives game. Oh, I love it. That's the plan. That is the fun, plan. Fun, Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we need to, we need our own like housewives, like yes. branded hoodies, branded like, oh, like faces. I can't wait to see these outfits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have some fun with it. I'm, I'm thinking about borrowing, um, what is Karen's dog called? Uh, I'll think of it in a second. Teddy. Teddy. I'm thinking about borrowing Teddy as my accessory for my housewife's outfit. Oh, for it sure. Feels, oh, yes. Feels very housewife -y. You need that in a little cocktail and a little something. Cocktail. A little something, something. With your maybe, dog. Maybe one of our, yes. maybe one of our sparkly handbags. That would look like perfect. That. And then that'll be me on Halloween. <laughs> and that'll be my costume. I may have to get like a crazy like big hair wig or something. I can see it. Because my hair. I want to see the pictures. My hair doesn't get big. It doesn't. It doesn't do that. Oh, I can make your hair big. Oh, okay. I'll come over. I'm going to Stacy's house first. <laughs> I'll style you up. That's it. Okay. Um. So, uh, I just noticed. Uh, Big Joe's on. Hi, Big Joe. I. I'm not going to say what's up. I can't do it. I can't do it. What's up? Stacy's got gotcha. you. Watch. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> if you have any questions, concerns, comments, uh, you thing you want to say, tell us about what you're doing, then you can pop a note in the comments at any time. We'll get to as many of those as we can as we go along. Uh, every now and then we'll get chatting and we forget to look, but <laughs> we'll, we'll try and get to it. Uh, but yeah, your choice of fabulous coloured fleeces. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six colours yeah. for $17.99 each. That could be one for all the family in a different colour each. 
Definitely. Oh, these are a no-brainer. You need, everybody needs a fleecy jacket. You need it. I mean, you're going to need it. You don't think you need it right now because you're sweating, but trust <laughs> me, you get a chill in the air, you're going to need this. And you're not going to take out your winter jacket so <clears throat> later on until it like rains or snows or there's actually a little bit more weather. But yeah. this, slight chill, back of a chair for an office, you know just this, to be cozy. This with a, like a waterproof over the top would be the perfect right. like, one to hit for a, for a, a full emergency kit you know if you're right. gonna some days you'll go out and it'll be a little bit a little bit cool and you'll be like i'm gonna throw my fleece on the next day you're gonna go out and you're gonna be like oh no it's raining so i'm gonna wear my fleece but i'm gonna layer it with my waterproof yes perfect for layering that might be the way to go and i love that it's like it's got this little reinforced bar here i mean that's just the way that it's been cut um but this is perfect for putting little badges on if you want to like have a brooch or if you want to have like a name badge because you work somewhere right. or PTA whatever it is you're going to do and zippered pockets zippered pockets are really so important too because I don't know how many times I've got in my car with a phone in my pocket and just on and, <laughs> and it goes out yeah 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 or for you running with like a key or you know whatever you need I love the zipper part so it's oh, nice yeah. and secure if you're getting it for running go a size smaller um because so, you don't want it like sweet oh if, See, I wouldn't know. If you're gonna if you're gonna wear it for a running jacket, get it nice and sturdy against the body, and then your phone isn't just gonna be like thump 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 yeah. thump because you run. You want it close fitting for that kind of thing. For sure. But yeah, I'm loving the sleeve room on this. And any any winter jacket that doesn't allow me to wear my thickest of winter winter jumpers. Right. Sweaters. I'm sorry. Let me translate. Sweaters. Well, you just popped it over this, and this yeah. has a little bit of bag and room to it, and it yeah, wasn't bulky or anything it's else. It's got a bit of a, a light balloon sleeve a to light, it. Oh. It does, but it wasn't like bulky or anything. It just went right over. Yeah, I mean, it, originally you know. I had it all like bunched up like this, and it mm -hmm. went in fine. Well, like, yeah, I then put my own hand up my sleeve and pulled it right down. Oh, a magician! Yeah, <laughs> for my next trick, <laughs> right I'm gonna make all the money in our bank account. Just oh my god! Oh, <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> yes, you will. Yes, yes, that's what I do. Um, my poor husband, he's he's uh, he's in England right now, and he's watching the bank account going take out again. Really? Uh <laughs> Mom he's, is busy. He's on the, the you know, he's over the seas. Okay. Yeah. He, what is he gonna do about it? If he's not gonna come cook, to cook dinner, it, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, you have to order out. I can't let the children, children stop. Right? <laughs> you do have to feed your kids. It's it's a, it's a thing. It's compulsory apparently. <laughs> I, I didn't know, but anyway. Um, right. Shall we move to our bags? Sure. Alrighty. So we are gonna move to our bags now. So we are in uh, genuine leather here with a croc embossing here, which is awesome. Now I feel like this needs some stuff in it because this is not showing off the shape. So sure. let me let me find some stuff to load. Here I'll, I can load it up. Yeah, let's let's get that loaded because that's got some shape to it. Oh yeah, perfect. Pop this in there. It's also going to come with a double zipper wristlet pouch, which is super super handy. It's going to have your little name plaque on the front here, um, which that's a little designer touch. You're going to have your front pocket. Now, where is my cell? I'm going to see whether the front pocket fits my cell. The front pocket looks like, oh. Oh, it does it? It will fit my nice. cell, which is literally one of the biggest on the market right now. So that will fit your cell phone. Um, the back pocket will definitely fit, fit your cell phone. It's perfect when you have a roomy bag like this to have a little one that you can pull out. Because sometimes, sometimes you're in the car, you're running errands, you're doing this and that, you're running around. Sometimes you just want to pull out your wristlet that's got your cards, your cell phone, and a few other essentials in it, and then just run into the store like that, instead of running into the store with the entire bag. Because sometimes you don't need everything, right? No. So this is going to have the, the double shoulder straps, or tote straps if you're going to carry it like that. It's got the top zipper. <gasps> which is so important if you're in a big city, just being able to have that just locked up where people can't get to it uh, is so important. And then it has the long pocket on the back. That's gonna come all the way down to there. That's a big pocket. I love having an outside back pocket like this because I mean, with this one, I think my cell phone would be in here, but the other option is to put your cell phone in this pocket so that when you wear it, the cell phone is touching you. So when it rings, if you don't hear it, at least you'll feel it vibrate. That's, that's, that's always my trick with the uh, with the pocket there. But we're nice and roomy. Let's just take a look at what this bad boy can handle. Um, oh, we have an interior privacy pocket as well, right here. 
that's built into the lining there. Again, that's going to go all the way down to the bottom. So there's a really big pocket there. I love having one of those because it means nobody, nobody can like just glance in your bag and see all your personal oh, items. I hate really that. Good. And sometimes it's like private and personal things. Sometimes it's just like, mama has got candy in there and the kids aren't getting any. <laughs> so it needs to be in the zippered pocket so they're not like, oh, let me have some of that. Because when I've got candy, it's from England and it's too good for the children. Oh. They won't appreciate it. So I need to have, I need to have everything tucked away. But this is big enough for my big water bottle. That's good. That's good. We've got it nicely loaded up here. We've got a gutted bottom, so it's got nice, nice. It always sounds <laughs> rude when you say that. So it's like bottom. it's got a wet. What? It's not wet. It's got a gutted bottom. Come again. Um, so let's have a look at our size here. About mm, 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 three and a half inches along the bottom, and it's got feet. Oh, Love a bag with feet. feet. That's going to keep it nice and. Um, Nice and elevated when it when you when you put it down. I love the clack. The little clack when you put your feet down on the floor. Love oh, that. Yeah. Um, so we've got plenty of room for all your essentials. It's gonna come with your beautiful wristlet as well. And we have it in black, we have it in look at right the colours, we have it in cherry, which is a very, very deep red. Cherry. Yeah, I don't think we have the oh we have the cherry in the studio right next to you, Stacey, if you could bring that one over and then we have it in what's the last color uh, I think it's blue or navy and we have it oh we have a navy one style alert that's going to be a big trend for fall oh that cherry is fun Frey. okay I think it looks good with this outfit too it does do like you do <laughs> i'm i'm gonna bundle up our fleece here and i'm gonna load your bag so that we can see the shape of it Excuse me, Angelique, I'm just going to turn it away. Turn away, look away. She's like, don't look, I've got nothing on. Okay, okay. I'm gonna, I like this color. I'm going to load you up with a whole fleece in here. Because I want you to be able to see, I want you guys at home to be able to see the shape of the, what are the What's the dimensions? Could you put a, um, like a notebook in here? Okay, we're yes. at 16 and a half inches long, which is, is the length this way. Um, by three and a half inches along the bottom, which we checked. Um, height is 11.8. Okay, so it's 16 and a half this way. And then it's 11.8 that way. Definitely, I, I think that you could, I mean, you know you're a student, so you could fit your notebooks in here, don't you think? Yeah, definitely. Kind of class it up instead of just a backpack if you wanted to, like more of a tote. I'm just to wondering have if we have a notebook. A few of your journals, here. notebooks. Mm -hmm. You have this inside zip here. I have a small notebook. Oh, quite I like that size that too. Okay, so I mean, this is this is a little bit smaller of a guy, but yeah. Oh, is that in yours? That's in your bag. Okay, yeah, definitely. If you want to do a little bit classier route and use it as a tote, like a work tote, you can definitely do that as well. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, I like that. Yeah, I like the size. Very professional, very groomed right now. I. I'm a big believer in like the way a bag fits and feels on your mm -hmm. arm. And yeah. I love how this just is like right here. That's so comfortable. Oh yeah. I can't it's stand right. when it's like falling off or it's too long or too short. And this is a very comfortable bag and it being leather, it's obviously durable. Yeah, that's important as well. Well, let's get to that price point because it's not priced like a leather bag, let's be honest oh about gosh, it. No. So this one is going to be $47.99. Um, Any time the leather bag gets under $100, I start getting excited. Once oh, we're yeah. under 50 like this, that's when I'm like, ooh, tell me more. But then there's also budget pay and pay as well. So we're at $12 on budget pay, which is incredible. Incredible. And, you know, realistically, you're getting two bags because you're getting a little, you know, a little, yeah, you know, a little carry on, like a little <laughs> off you go bag. Your, uh, your wristlet, <laughs> wristlet is going to be included as well. So this could be, you know, if you're going out for drinks with the girls, that might be all you take. Right, you can load this up. I mean, we, on those, for the most part, on those three occasions a year when we get to go for drinks with the girls. No, we will. We are. We should today. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh my goodness. I'll be back at 11, so I can't get a little. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll take a nap and won't get up. But, you know, yeah, tomorrow for sure. Um, but yeah, you usually load up a bag with a bunch of stuff. But to your point, if you do just need a credit card, some cash, your phone, um, you know, when you want to leave the rest and whatever, let's your jackets in here or anything else, you just take your little wristlet and you go. And it's convenient because you're not holding it like, 
you're not going to lose it. It's on your wrist. It's it just it. swings with you. Yeah. And I want to show you the texture close up. DJ, is this in focus? Yes. Okay, the texture is amazing um, because we all yeah, know really that great. with a leather bag, they get nicer as they get older because they develop what we call a patina. So when mm. you've started to use it a little bit, those little bumps and knocks and scrapes make your bag look lived in. And I love a brand new leather bag, but I also love one that's been around the block a few right. times. Like broken in. Yeah, that's mm. broken in, yeah. Um, because I, I feel like it makes me look like I can afford nicer things because they last longer like there's a whole like mental logic in there <laughs> but I'm like it's nice to have a new bag it's nice to have been able to afford one that lasts I think yeah like, that's sure. what I'm projecting like oh yes I always buy leather bags because they last it makes it yeah. makes me it makes me feel makes me feel expensive when that happens but with this one all those little creases that you get in the leather as it gets older the patina the shinier bits the duller bits all of that is going to work so well with the embossing that's already here. Mm -hmm. And so the embossing is also almost giving you a, a weathered look from day one. From day one. Yeah. Let's just show this one up close because it's very yeah. pretty. I do like the way that cherry one gives you those pops of the brighter color, but there's enough of the deeper color so that it's not like too loud. Right. It's, it subdues it a bit. Mm. It gives it a little bit of dimension. It's really pretty, you guys. Like, look at that. Classy. Very, very classy. classy. Yes. 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 That Gorgeous. One, that one is an elevator. And you'll throw that on with your look and it just make everything else look so much more pulled together. So great deal on that one. Your bristlet is going to come with all of these. Um, we don't have the blue in the studio, right? No. Okay. All right. We should probably move because we are, I've been chatting away and we're on like item three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So uh, we're going to go on to our... Our crocodile clutch yes. next. Oh, where's it? Oh, I see. Okay, so I'm gonna. We, this is so pretty, though. Can we put? It, yeah, let's put it somewhere in the background. Yeah, you still can that. see it. Okay, I'm gonna. Oh, well, Angela. Oh, a little too much happy hour for you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, saying. we are moving on to our. Whoa. Okay, we are now in. So this is crocodile embossed leather. This is crocodile. Okay, Ooh. so you'll have, anyone who watched the promo earlier will know that Chili the cat was hanging around over here. She was loving the exotic leather smells. Oh, was she? she had her nose in oh Stephanie's um, python bag. She was like, oh my goodness, smells like animals. And she was having a good sniff around over here. And I'm like, oh, of course, she smells crocodiles. That's he looks like a girl cat. I have a little ginger girl cat. And this, this Chili the cat is... is do you call it a ginger cat? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, orange cat? What, orange cat? cat? Yeah. yeah. Orange cat. Ginger cat? Okay, well, They get called that. ginger cats in Okay, I like that. Um, so, and they're... Ginger I think they're normally boys, aren't they? Ginger cats are normally boys. Yes. That's um, what, um... Stephanie said, like 90%. 90%. And I had a ginger cat that was a girl. So whenever I see a ginger cat, I think it's a girl. Oh, but that's super unusual. Okay. Um, so yeah, Chili is a boy. Uh, so we're in real crocodile here, which is just, yeah, which is epic. I'm enjoying this one because it looks expensive. It feels expensive. We have it in the knee, which of course is a big, big color. It's all over the runways. And this one's a super handy one to have. We're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six slots here. The bottom one, of course, is going to be your ID slot that you can see through it. Then you have the wider pockets to there. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six more card pockets the other side. And then you have this gusseted pocket here, which is a little bit wider. You might want to put change in there. You might want to put a checkbook in there. Let's see. I reckon it looks a little narrow for my, oh, oh, look at that. Fits my phone perfectly. Oh, wow, it does? I didn't think that would fit. <gasps> Perfect. And actually, when you have a phone or a checkbook in it, it just pushes out the gusseting on the sides. And just makes it look more substantial. Wow. It'll fold down quite flat when you when it's empty, like this, um, which is great for slipping in a pocket. But actually, when you put something in it, boom, just fills it out a little bit. I like that. Oh, that's too nice. Um, so perfect for taking is just like your one thing. If you just want to have a cell phone, a few credit cards, and a few other essentials, this might just be what you carry by itself. Maybe if you're going out or something, you just want to have that. Um, but it'll also slip into a bag as well if you want to keep your essentials together and just pop that into a main handbag. So handy. 
Um, we are sold out of the other colours, so yes. this is last in stock. How many do we have? We have... Well, hold on. Nine. Nine. Okay. Nine opportunities to grab one of these. Um, oh, it's organic Cayman Crocodile. Not just oh, Crocodile, okay. but organic Cayman Crocodile. Pres presumably those crocodiles were fed exclusively from Whole Foods. <laughs> <laughs> Get away, mom joke, mom joke. Mom joke. <laughs> no. uh, do we have a comparison on this one? I do. Okay, let's take a look at our comparison. Uh, so this one is just embossed leather. So that one isn't Cayman crocodile like this one, nor is it Cayman crocodile that ate from Whole Foods. Um, <laughs> that is $895, goodness. Um, that's expensive, all right. Um, yeah, I mean, with leather goods, it's whatever brand dictates the price, basically. Um, so what you're paying for here is the quality of the leather, and that's it. We're not charging you for the brand. We're charging you for organic Cayman Crocodile, um, which has been manufactured into a really super, super useful, very handy uh, little little clutch wallet here. I've, I've got to put my phone back in because I love how this looks with my phone in it. It does. It looks great. This, this should, be, should be me around the office. Like, oh, oh, I have yeah. a meeting. Because uh, <laughs> <laughs> I often walk into meetings like this. Oh, right, okay, I'll be right there. Um, okay, so you saw the comparison. You can spend a fortune on these. Uh, this is Genuine Crocodile, and we're at $69 on this wow, one, which really? is, you're basically just paying for the quality of the leather, and that's it. You're not paying for a logo, a brand. If you, this was branded and it was Genuine Crocodile, Guys, the limit oh. on on the on the cost of this that would be insane. Uh, but we have it at sixty nine dollars. We also have it on budget pay, which is thirteen dollars eighty. Now this has three reviews with a five star rating. Should we have a quick look at those? Check it out. Okay. Um, Karen said I love it. I wish I got the brown and the black one. Okay. So Karen loves hers. Caroline says gorgeous. Love it, Beverly. Says, very nice, just the right size I was looking for. Slim, it fits into all of my handbags, very practical, would make an impressive gift. Oh. Did it come in a box, DJ, or anything? Um, actually it did. Okay, yeah. should we take a look? Because yeah. if you're gifting, the box matters. So let's see, oh yeah, that's pretty. Plastic. Okay, all right, this is important. Oh, look at this. You see, all of a sudden, you start, oh, it's a dust bag. Oh, oh, what? Okay, so when you're gifting, it's gonna, so this is a river brand close out. So it's gonna come in its little dust bag and then the dust bag is gonna go in its little box here. Okay, all of a sudden, everyone's gonna know that they're onto something expensive right here because it's not just a wallet. It is a wallet that comes in its own box, comes yeah. in its own gift bag. All of a sudden, you're very much aware that there's some serious, serious money being spent on this item. What your gift recipient won't know is that you got it at shop LC prices. Love that. All right, um, so nine, did you say? Yes. Nine of those and that's it. I'm gonna put this away nicely for you while I'm here. Thank you. As I've got the box. Because it's, I love that. It's so easy to wrap as well. If you're like me and you hate wrapping awkward things, how handy it is it to have a good gift box you can wrap it in. All right, uh, so we're going to move on to our next item, which is going to be our crystal clutch. All right, Stacey, are you All up right. for the gold or the burgundy? Well, I'm liking burgundy with what I'm wearing lately. Okay. I think that looks good. So Stacey's going to grab the burgundy. I'm going to grab the gold. Oh, I quite like the, put the gold with my neutrals today. So I took the girls to um, a popular department store the other day. Okay. Uh, because they have a homecoming ball coming up. They do. I still Aww. don't know what a homecoming ball is when you're in middle school. I don't even know what homecoming is. So can you can you start by explaining that to me? Homecoming. It's just in the beginning of the year. It's not like prom, right, DJ? Yeah. It's just the, the it's at the starting of the year. Why it's it like called, another. Why is it called homecoming? I don't know. Just look it up. I'll look it up. Yeah, yeah look, look it up. Look it up. Because I was just like. I, I said to my husband, I'm going to take the girls to the mall because they need dresses for homecoming. And he's like, what's homecoming? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> it's an excuse just, to get dressed up I'm just and gonna go to a party. Dress. And then, of course, while we were buying dresses behind the counter when we went to pay, they had a ton of these. Oh. And the girls were like, oh my gosh, I need one, I need one. And I was like, nope, you're getting yours from Shop LC. <laughs> you're not for having sure. these. Because they wanted like $70 for them. Oh my goodness. And I was like, really? are you kidding me? 
No, no. Um, or as Chili was in the room earlier, I should say, are you kidding me? Oh. Okay, <laughs> number two. Mom, don't number two. <laughs> number, number two. two. we got to get three before the end of the You're show. You're welcome, everyone. You're welcome. Um, so these are cute. I mean, they've got everything really that cute. you want. Um, oh, I'm, loving, I'm loving the lining. So we've got um, crystal mesh. I have to say it very carefully on the outside. Crystal mesh. Crystal mesh on the outside. And we've got the gold in the studio here, and we've, we're calling this one purple, but I'd say it's more of an evening plum. Yeah. Oh, I would say it's more of like an eggplant. Okay. But evening plum, I like that. Evening plum. It's just way uh, fancier. Coordinated linings on the inside, which is nice. And then, of course, we have the satin effect um, on the front and on the side. There's a bit of gusseting there, so that we've got a bit of width so you can actually put something in here. That's always helpful. Nothing worse than an evening bag that's too small to be comfortable. Oh my gosh, I hate those tiny little ones. You can't take anything. It winds me up so much. I'm like, I want to take my entire wallet. <laughs> I want my cell phone. <laughs> I want three types of medication and some glasses, please. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yes, I am going to have a good time. <laughs> um, it has got your interesting touch here on the on the little slip pocket. It's a gusseted slip pocket too, which is oh, fun. Yeah. So maybe that's going to... A little okay. cash in there, a little something. A little cash, maybe a little um, lipstick. Lip gloss. Yeah. Something this in chain is going to be detachable, but if you don't want to lose it, the other thing you can do is just tuck it inside yeah. if you want to convert to chainless look. The other bonus of the chains is that you can just hook them up so they're a little bit smaller, or just tie a knot in the chain if you just want to have it so that it just dangles over the arm, or perhaps you're not very tall and the full length is too much for you. Little knot in that chain there. Sure, that's we'll, what this one is. Yeah, this one's knotted. That's it, we'll just bring that a little bit smaller, a little bit further in. You can get a bit imaginative if you want to cross over the, um, the clips inside if yeah, you need it really short. There's, mm -hmm. and double it over there's lots of things you can do but that chain is going to be adjustable because just use a bit of imagination with that one so our size here where's my trusty ruler i put it down and lost it again where is my ruler dj oh um, what? what i was i was pointing and gesturing i know you love a ruler that's a long go yeah, another one for you. okay dj can find us another one maybe it's there you go. Thank you so much. All is right in the world. Ah, so we are, goodness, what would we do about the ruler? We are at about ten and a quarter, just over um, from from left to right, east to west. And we're about four and a half, top to toe. But then we've got some girth as well. So about two inches of girth in there for all your accoutrements, all those must-haves. Um, you've got, you're going to have room inside. Oh, there's a plenty of room inside. Plenty of room for even the largest of cell phones. That's, that's going to be neatly tucked away in there. And I love a clutch for when you're wearing that plunging evening gown. We do the Princess Diana. Have you done the Princess Diana? No, what's that? Okay. Oh, wait, I think you mentioned So when you're getting out of a car, oh, 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 yes. you're going to hold yes. the clutch in one yes. hand and the clutch goes over the cleavage so you can bend and get out the car <laughs> without flashing your particulars yeah. to uh, to the onlookers. And it's very, very handy, especially if you're going to an event where there's lots of kids and you're going to be bending over to listen to them and talk to them. Clutch okay. goes here and you're like, okay, little Johnny, what do you need? <laughs> Family weddings, that kind of thing. Very handy to have the clutch for the cleavage because um, it might be all good and proper when you're stood up straight, but the minute you bend right. over, everything's Then you're showing off forward. the goods. Yeah, and sometimes it's a bit much at a family wedding. You don't want to scare the children. So clutch goes in, then you bend. That's the way we do it. Clutch and bend. Clutch and bend. <laughs> Follow me for more tips. <laughs> clutch and bend. This is the clutch and bend. Um, so we have this in gold. We have this in I'm trying to double. evening purple. What did I do wrong? I know what you're saying, and I try to do it. I slipped it through twice. Oh, oh I know. This part. Well, we'll I'll work on it. You can definitely yeah, yeah. double it up. Okay, so we have this in silver as well. Oh my goodness. Stacey, why didn't you wear that? Oh, hello. I'm sure I'm in the roof today. I'm hello, like, lady. Nails at least an inch long, eyelashes as long, if not longer. All right. <laughs> I mean, eyebrows that are like being drawn on by an artist with a stencil. <laughs> wow, that's that's that is not one of our models, ladies and gentlemen. That is not someone who works. No, here. it is not one of our models, but she is 
uh, she is she is showing up. Yeah, that's, that's a nice way of putting it. Well done, Stacey. You're nicer than me. Uh, and look, it comes in. Uh, what color is that? Is that the, oh, that's the champagne. So we have the gold, which is this one, and the champagne, which is that one, just gonna be a sort of slightly blushier, pinkier shade. We have the silver, and we have the evening egg, eggplant. But this does actually look like those are stuck on. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Very badly. She's got a lot of stuff that looks like it's stuck on. <laughs> oh, Stacy, that's okay. Stacy, hey, she looks hot. I'm, I'm, I'll go out there and say it. Uh, uh, hot's not the word I'd use. Okay, well, you know, <laughs> I'm being friendly again. Yes, <laughs> Stacy's being very polite. Well done, Stacy. Okay, so I did double just to show you guys. Oh, there we go. Perfect. It, it took I a moment, mean, but I did double. No, we'll just yeah. Yeah, she can just uh, right under your arm like that. That's it. Or you or can do crook at the elbow. Like or crook at yes, like this. Yeah, that's it. And then do Heather's trick, which apparently she didn't learn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and do that. <laughs> she needs it for her dress like yeah. like every time she moves she's gonna be like okay. well here's the thing okay you guys we are almost in to october yes <sighs> but so, there's but there's good with that cooler weather festive fun good it? drinks celebrations okay. fun times parties party dresses and yes. party accessories yes. so it is a great time to you know dazzle yourself up get out there have some fun you always need a glitterly, a glitterly, a glittery That's little bit. I'm going to use that. A, what did I say? Glitterly, I think. <laughs> um, earlier today, I saw Courtney and she was wearing pajamas and I said, are those Tamsy Jamsies? And I'm like, <laughs> I didn't even, I meant to say Tamsy pajamas and I'm like, are those Tamsy Jamsies? And she's jamsies? like, oh my gosh, I love that. And I'm like, I can't talk today. Okay, watch <laughs> the new product line, Tamsy Jamsies. Tamsy Jamsies. <laughs> But you do, you always need a bag. And what happens is like you have this like really cute outfit on and you're just looking fab. You're walking out the door and then you have like your brown leather, you know, workhorse bag. Yeah. And you don't have anything that kind of complements it. And everybody, everybody needs a little glittery something yeah. to just pop a few things in yeah, when you're about, out the door. What I love about a bag like this is that you'll buy it. You'll use it for like your work Christmas party mm -hmm. or New Year's Eve, but then you'll use it again for like a wedding, and then you'll use it again and again. again and it's and one again. of those bags that gets occasional use, but it's frequent. I end up buying sure. like a fancy bag like this um, less frequently than my everyday bags because they don't get that everyday use. Right. So I go for the ones that have got the fancy materials. I go for the ones that have got the crystal mesh. And they they just oh, work. So pretty. They do work. And you know what else is cute too? Like don't underestimate like just a plain outfit or like just jeans and a white tank top and then you have like a really cool like glitter bag. Mm. That always looks good too. So even though obviously it's like, you know, holiday bag, you can dress up your outfit if you want to and you just throw this on. Yeah, white t-shirt at the mall on a Sunday. See, right now you just look gorgeous. Okay, down. look, look at you. I mean, well, Heather, you're like, so pretty, anyways. But. Well, this is okay, me. This so, is me on a Tuesday. You know what I'm like. <laughs> we all know Heather. <laughs> but I, honestly, this whole outfit right now, with your gold and your gold, and then your cream and your khaki, so you're very neutral. And then this pops. Yeah. It doesn't look like. Why is she wearing that? It looks absolutely perfect with this as well. Yeah, most people would shoes, walk in and be like, and your ankles. Nice clutch. They wouldn't be like an evening bag in the office. They'd just be like, nice clutch. Because, yeah. yeah. And then, of course, I'd still be doing it like this when I... <laughs> <laughs> of course. They'd be like, it's okay, you're not flashing. Um, of course, but you can put the, I can throw in a little wallet, my reading glasses, a pack of gum, a lip gloss, oh, and, your, and, your, well, on, um, let's, and your phone. Let's, let's load her let's, up. Let's load her up. Reading glasses. Let's, reading glasses. Oh, we're going to need a lip balm. Got to have... I'm lipstick. Okay. okay. I'm at. My wallet. Oh. <laughs> so she's like, thanks. <laughs> um, <laughs> should we throw some gum in there? <laughs> Okay. Gum. Okay. Will it close? Well, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Oh, the, the ruler is in my purse. That's right. <laughs> That's right. <where I'm> <laughs> I can't stick a ruler in it. I bet you can fit your uh, your phone in here as well. Okay. So I mean, you've got yeah. I mean, throw that in. Throw that bad boy in. There we go. We are loading well, that thing. I could, but I doubled up the chain. Oh, because it's got double chain. Yeah, I got a double up chain. But if you didn't double this because it's taking up the width, you can definitely close it. Nice. I know. I mean, you're good to go. I feel like that's plenty in there. 
I feel like, yeah, let's <laughs> unload everything. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm going to give it all back, except for... Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, get my gun back. Um, and then... Thank you. <laughs> and of course, if you're going out, you might just want to take your ID and your credit card. You may not want to have, like, your entire wallet. Sure. Either. Sure. Um, but yeah, that's literally everything I need to like get through the day. Did you say a price? Oh, I didn't. Um, should we? Do we have a comparison? Um. It gets uh, when we did the Wednesday show. Uh, I'm so into the products that I'm like. Does, I know. Does it matter how much it costs? You only one of these, and I forget to get to the price. I know, but my mind's always blown too on a Wednesday. I'm like, mm -hmm. I look and I, like, there's been so many times I've been like, ooh, what? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. That's a bad way. Here, I'm going to show it up close. Yeah, let's take a look at it all. Because I want to show you the comparison. Okay, I, here we go. I saw it real life in a department store. Uh, when did I go? On Sunday with the girls. And we picked the homecoming dresses. And they were like, we need a bag, we need a bag. And I was like, no, I will get them from work for you. And we went over and they want like $50, $70, oh, $80. Easily. Um, easily. Just in a little mall department store. This one is at um, $425. <laughs> Crystal mesh again. So careful saying that, um, and it's fine. It's pretty enough, but that's a lot of money for a bag that isn't going to get you your mileage for the money. So I don't mind right. spending a lot on. So maybe we have a grand pearl bag, and it costs right. a couple hundred bucks, but you're going to wear it every single day. Sure, like that's an investment to me. A bag like this, they're beautiful, but they come out on occasions. Right, they come out when you're being a little fancier. So they're not going to get that everyday mileage that you get with a really good leather bag. So I don't feel like this price point is particularly justified because we're not no. getting craftsmanship, we're not getting high grain leather, we're not getting even. I don't even think we're getting a designer logo with that one. Mm -hmm. To me, that's just four hundred dollars down the drain. Like that's not helpful. Ours is a much better price point, a much more sensible price point for a fun Definitely. bag. You know, that's that's what we're looking at. Sensible price point for a fun bag. We're at $19.99, which 19 is exactly 99. exactly where it should be. It's a great deal. I'd pay easily 30, 40, any day of the week and think I was getting a steal. 19.99 is just like, it's like you guys are getting staff discount. That's basically what. Yeah, you're right. Like that's that's mm -hmm. what I feel like about that price point. It's like we've taken another chunk off of it for you. That's four budget pays of five bucks. <laughs> that's incredible. There um, you so we have the colors, we have the silver, the gold, the, the rose goldy champagne color, and then we have the beautiful purple, which I think is um, a quiet scene stealer here. Yeah, I love this one, but on, uh, DJ, on the rose gold, does it have a rose gold chain? Ooh. Because this has a silver chain. Yes, it does. <laughs> Look at that, it's pretty. pretty. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's really beautiful. So that's cool, so if your accessories are gold, you know, you might want to choose one with a gold chain. You might want to get the gold if one. You're, if you're silver or you're dripping in diamonds, you might want to go with this color with chain. Purple for pulp, yeah. Yeah, and then gold. Like, I think your outfit, this whole color scheme looks awesome with the gold. Yeah, the uh, safari colors. Yeah. And the, uh -huh. and the gold is working <laughs> together. Um, but yeah, any kind of gold accessories and then neutrals. This one's gonna be it. this one's gonna be a guy. If you are all top to toe in platinum and white metals and silver, mm -hmm. maybe get the silver one. And any outfit that requires a pop of color, that is right. just right. Especially it's such a great fall color as well. Yeah. Gosh. We should probably move along because we've okay. still got. Yes, but before we do that, here's the answer to y'all's question from earlier. Oh, homecoming. Okay. Homecoming is the tradition of welcoming back alumni or former members of an organization to celebrate the organization's existence. Um, okay. Yeah, basically a party at the beginning of school. Yeah. And then proms at the end. So yeah, that would make sense. Homecoming, their kids are coming back to school. Okay. It's like, you still get dressed up and you still have fun. It's not as formal as yeah. prom, but it's pretty formal. So in middle school, does high, do high schoolers come in who went to that school, maybe? I think so. No, that would be frowned yeah. upon yeah. for the yeah. older students. Yeah. I don't think that's a thing. But anyway, it's okay. Every day is like a, a lesson in American culture for me. Every day I learn something new. Okay, I'm going to pop my purse down there. Um, yeah, I'm seriously that clueless about culture sometimes. I do, I'm learning as we get to things, so I had to learn all about how kindergarten worked, all about how elementary school works. So I get to learn Aww. it bit by bit, and the teachers would be like, why don't you know this stuff? And I was like, because I wasn't born and raised here. Because I went to primary school. Yeah, because I, yeah, <laughs> I literally did not set foot in American school until my kids started. Yeah. Like, why would I? <laughs> I've got no business exactly. in a school with no kids. So I was, 
you know, they were they were just blown away by the fact that I didn't know what certain things meant. And, that, and I, for I went through a process. The first few years of elementary school, I would literally have the same email that I'd send the teacher every year, uh-huh. and I'd be like, okay, I I may look like I'm an American parent, but I'm not. Like I'm from the UK. It's right. a completely different culture. I am clueless. Please feel free to explain to me like I'm five. Cause yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know any of this stuff. And the teachers, because the first teacher just made a lot of assumptions about things I knew. Oh. And I was, I came across as being aloof because I didn't get involved in things because I didn't know what was required of me. Right. And so for the next teacher, Very I was like, involved. I was like, here is my, here is my like thing. You need to understand. I know nothing about this stuff. Right. And if I'm not doing what you think I should be doing. You need to tell me. Cause <laughs> it's almost like parent school. You're required to do a lot as well. Yes. For the kids. Yes. Uh, there's definitely a lot of mummy work involved in yeah. elementary school. Like maybe you guys have experienced that as well. Um, I feel like elementary school was a big lesson in, in establishing boundaries for myself because there was a lot required of me as a parent. All right. So we are going to switch gears a little bit now into our 3 p.m. special, which today is going to be... I, fabulous uh, device that we have from our Lunar Moore range. Now, we talk about all the different things that we do to tone our skin and to tone our bodies, and we've got lots of different devices here at ShopRC which do those things. And most people who have used them, which is the hosts primarily and the models, most of them own one or two of these devices now. And I think oh, yeah. that's really, really telling that we've seen it, we've used it, we've tried it, and we've said, yes, this is technology that works that we want to have in our life. And I'll let you in on a little secret. When I started modeling here at Shop LC, I didn't think any of that stuff worked. I was just like, okay, this is gonna do nothing. And I went in and I did a show with, uh, with Chuck and with Hannah. And you know how when you're, especially when you're with Chuck, he'll have you do half your face. Yes. And so I'm like, uh-huh, yep, mm-hmm. right. And just like, do, just, doing whatever device it was and I had it on like um, EMS mm-hmm. and not only a little bit of radio frequency but a lot, a lot of EMS going on and I so I was doing one half of my face and so and then Chuck says okay let's take a look let's see how we're doing and so the director's telling me like look at your camera four and then I look and I'm looking <laughs> at my own face in the monitor and I'm like you lost what? Idea. what yeah like one side is lifted one side has got less lines Nothing you can do about really, really big, deep, craggy ones, um, but the fine lines get smoothed out, and the you get you get a lift, and you look better in ways that you can't put your finger on. Right. <laughs> Before, like I wasn't massively critical about the way I looked, and then I do it, and I look fresher and lifted and more youth- youthful, and I'm like, I I'm not quite sure what happened on this side of my face, but this side isn't doing it. And then Chuck will say, uh, Now you can do the other side. You're like, Oh, thank God. And so then I did the other side, but not nearly for as long. I know. And then um, next morning I woke up, this side looks amazing. <laughs> this side's starting to drop a bit. And I'm just like, that's all the proof that I need, that this technology is real, it is genuine, it works, it's effective, uh, but you've got to be equal. <laughs> that yes, was you the do. lesson. That was the lesson I learned. And I was the world's biggest skeptic when I came here. I was very, very worried about these devices. I was just like, what am I doing? What do I put on my, on my skin? I don't know. Um, at best, I think it doesn't work. But having seen it work in person, and seen it work time and time and time again, there are certain technologies that I would not live without now. So when I bought my own device, um, I actually texted Hannah. <laughs> I was like, can you pick one for me? Because mm-hmm. Hannah's the pro. She, is, she knows everything about these devices. And I was like got to help me out here what do I need here are my problems and she was like you can pick between these two both of them will suit you and that's the device I have now and that's the device that I now can no longer live without so um, she was she was just like you absolutely have have to have radio frequency and you absolutely need to have RF um, sorry uh, EMS those two things in your device and you're golden and she was right um, so your radio frequency and your EMF are going to do slightly different things um, the EMS, we'll talk about that one first. So this is a technology that we call el- electromuscle stimulation. Yes. I have to get, get that right. So this is like the gym, but without you doing anything. So if you've ever worn one of those belts that like pulls your waist in and the, the toning belt things, right. that's the same idea. It's pulling those muscles in and making them contract. 
but this isn't going to give you that contraction this is a this is a lighter pulse which is still going to have that toning effect and the thing is about our faces our bodies and all the rest of it as we go along is that everywhere needs to be stimulated because once you get past 40 it's literally use it or lose it. I'm finding that out right now. I found that out um, on, on, what was it, Monday, when I had to call Chris to come and help me pick up a freaking desk because I couldn't do it by myself. Um, it's use it or lose it when, when you get over 40. Like, if you're not using a muscle, it just starts wasting. I, d I don't know what it is about that, that milestone age, but your body just goes, no, <laughs> to everything. And that's when you start to need to supplement and to help yourself. So EMS is gonna give you that stimulation a bit like what you'd get at the gym, uh, but in places you can't reach at the gym, or maybe you just haven't got time to get to at the gym. So your radio frequency, do we have a slide on the radio frequency? Yeah, my computer's being weird for right now. Okay. So this one will give you MFIP, and I am gonna read this out for you here because MFIP is the USP on this one. It's the extra thing that other, other items don't have. We're calling it a five in one because it's got this. Um, so it is mid-frequency interval pulse. That is for toning and lifting the skin. So that's gonna work at skin level. The EMS is gonna work at muscle level. So you're getting everything all in together there. It combines three powerful technologies, EMS, interval pulse, and radio frequency all together in a specifically designed intermittent, intermittent pulse. Um, it works on a muscular and cellular level, which helps to produce results such as inch loss, cellulite reduction, and skin tightening. I mean, sign me up. Sign me up for one of these. For sure. Okay. Um, so the radio frequency in a bit more detail. Now, just before we get into that, I'll just show you your buttons here. You can use the MFI, MFIP here, and to use it, you're just gonna turn it on and you've got your, your intensity. So one green light means you're on mode one, mode two, mode three, mode four. We always suggest start on the lowest one, try it for a bit, and then, and then move up. Sometimes with the really strong technologies, you do need to build up slowly. You'll get there. It may feel like you can't to start with. It may be too intense, but you will get there. And then you can have radio frequency by itself, um, three levels of that, EMS by itself, three levels of that, or you can have MFIP with EMS or MFIP with RF. So you can really be prescriptive about exactly what you want your device to do. On the bottom, on the foot plate here, you're going to have your metal sensors. They need to be in contact with your body for the device to work. And then you can see the lights are going to be on here. I'm just going to turn this off for a minute so I can continue demonstrating it. You have your choice here. If you're using the RF function, you really need an RF conductor gel to go with it to really make that work. You can use it on the other modes without that. You can use it by itself on damp skin. Uh, you can use it with um, a lotion. Uh, what do you recommend to use it with? Uh, 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 nothing that has nothing oil based. So okay. water based gels or uh, aloe vera. Okay. Stacy's our resident beautician, so she has got all the answers on all this stuff. Okay. And so for use, oh, did you get my RFP? Yeah. Okay. So medium frequency intermittent electronic pulse. It gets all very sciencey, doesn't it? Uh, helps to calm and relax skin, remove edema. So edema being like watery buildup. So, you know, you'd call it water retention, right? Uh, and achieve the effect of slimming and shaping through massage. I don't know about you guys, but I get water retention so badly. It's one of the, um, one of the side effects I get. If I eat gluten, so not only do I have like the gastrointestinal issues, which we won't go into, but I blow up like a puffer fish. Like I get such bad water retention. It's the number one reason why I don't touch gluten because I'm like, the next day, it is bad. Um, but this could be something that could help me with that. Um, and that's what they mean by edema here, the, the build up of fluid in the, in the, in the tissues. Um, to achieve effect of slimming and shaping through massage. Wow. So that is just like somebody massaging your skin. I love that. Mm. There was once um, a, a specialist who came to an office who did very, very specific um, massage aimed for draining and fluid retention oh, wow. loss and mm -hmm. I would see her have a, like a 15 minute massage and then peel afternoon wonderful oh, nice. <laughs> and that's why we always say when, with these kind of devices that have that kind of effect keep drinking water while you have it because you need to flush through your body will release the fluid once it knows there's more coming in uh, it sounds counterintuitive but it will make you thirsty after a while because it's just pulling all the all the fluid out of you mm. okay 
Super Pulsed Electro... Electroporation? Wow. This is a science lesson and a live stream. Uh, uses current to help infuse skincare products and restore the skin. So you could grab a, a body moisturiser that you absolutely love and really get it into your pores using this one. Um, Stacey, should we have a quick demo of how to use it on the sure. different areas? Okay, hey, you want to talk through and I'll... Yeah. Shall we? Because there, there's a very specific way to use each different area. Here we go. So we're going to start on the upper arms. Now the instructions say, make a new circle at the junction of the arm and the shoulder for two to three circles. There we go. And in a straight line, slide from the elbow joint through the upper arm to the shoulder junction. So we're doing upward sweeping motions. Upwards. Yes, it's very important to do upward sweeping motions because that pushes all the fluids right. back into the heart and allows you to circulate and remove toxins and take everything out. Yes. Okay, so on the abdomen, they suggest doing a sort of ring around the belly button. Ring around the with belly button. With little tiny circles all the way around. Okay. There we go. That's, okay. that's their suggested mm -hmm. route. Um, and then the same, but in a diagonal along here. I always do that. This is my move when I use these. Yeah. I do the in, the in, the in, the circle. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, you can do what you like, but you can do the circles. There, the plate is pretty big. You're going to cover a large surface of area on your skin. Cool, cool. So, yeah. Okay, now what do we got? And then they, uh, okay, for, for the buttocks. I was going to say, for the butt, yeah. Yeah, you can. Don't neglect your butt. You can either do the circular one that you're doing mm -hmm. there. You can also do upward sweeping motions. Do that. Upward. You can also do a zigzag uh, on the on the garter line. On the what line? The garter line. The garter line? Yeah. The garter line. That's where your garter would go. Okay. If you wore it. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know why specifically we zig zig zigzag there, but that's what it says in the book, people. I'm just following okay. the book. Um, so for the thigh, they recommend also like an upward sweeping yeah. motion if that's how you want to go, mm -hmm. and potentially you can use a small circle motion as well. Um, into the calf, same 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 movements, but at the bottom or bottom of the leg instead of the top of the leg. Now with this one, you'll notice that we're using it plugged in, so not all of our devices work plugged in. This isn't a charge it up; you've got to have it plugged in. The reason for that is because the amount of power it pulls. Yes. This is, this is the best. heavy duty machine. Yeah. This is yeah. You, and then you can do a combined treatment for another ten minutes. So yeah. You know you want to have the power and and you do. With and because it's so high powered, this is one of the devices that we say two to three days a week max, mm -hmm. and give it a day. Give it two if you can. Yeah. This is not pull it out every day. Use it as often as you can. Um, you may even find that your skin doesn't react well if you if you use it. Yeah, you need day. to give your skin a break. When you do a treatment, then you need to make sure you drink a bunch of water, flush out your body, let it kind of, you know, find back its, like, norm. Mm -hmm. And then you can hit a different area if you want to, like, the next day. But don't do the same area every single day. It, it, you're going to overwhelm your body and um, your system. Yeah. It does need a moment. With a powerful tool like this, it needs a moment. So... Uh, with this, I think this is our only tool. It's five, five technologies. And let me just tell you that MFIP, the medium frequency intermittent pulse, that is like one of the newer technologies that you will not find pretty much anywhere else. It is brand new on the market. It is going to blow up in the next yes. year. You're going to see it like in every probably um, well, beauty see, device. Yeah, you'll see it in the salons. And, and you'll see this, yeah, exactly. And they'll charge you uh -huh. hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And then there's a trickle down effect where eventually you'll get it into a home device. But we have exclusively like one of the only devices on the market that is a five in one. And that, um, the medium uh, frequency, it's kind of like, it's like a, a shiatsu massage. So when you Ooh. put that on, it's hitting your body. It's stimulating circulation, it's promoting the collagen, it's helping drain the fluids out of your skin, it's helping smooth your cellulite. It's a fantastic technology that I'm telling you, watch, keep your eyes peeled. Next year, you'll see a bunch of um, devices adding it too. Now, radio frequency is amazing. It is a heat technology and it tightens your skin. So RF is your tightener. Um, then you have like your shiatsu, the MFIP, 
You also have on this EMS, which is the pulsing, which is like working out your muscle. Then what? what's the five technologies on this? Scroll down. So RF and LED light is for the texture of your skin. Right. And the super pulse, so that's the MFIP. So MFIP and the EMS, the RF, the LED, and the super pulse, uh, oh, the, the pulsing. So we're working the entire area from, right. the, from the skin right the way through to the muscle underneath. Plus, right. plus we're dealing with any water retention in the middle layers. Right, so like if you have like, you know, a little bit more cellulite, um, kind of like water retention, that kind of like mushy kind of skin, you want tightened skin where you are toned and tightened, that is for me, I would do the MFIP because that's gonna first kind of get everything moving and like grooving and kind of flushing out of there. And then you wanna do the RF for like tightening. The LED you can hit at the end, that's gonna help you with scars, with stretch marks, with um, texture of your skin, with overall tone of your skin. Mm -hmm. So that's like the, the most outer layer is for the LED. But this goes from the outer layer all the way down, all the way down into the RF, all the way down into the collagen building, all the way down. So it's like hitting layers and layers. So mm -hmm. you will be taught, like toned, tightened, looking good. Nice. And yeah, good to go. So this could be a whole body device, or this right. could actually be just something that you pull out for those um, problem areas. Right. So it might be that maybe. Maybe the upper arms aren't how they should be. Oh yeah, no, tell, tell me about it. That happens <laughs> as we get older. Um, yeah, it doesn't, uh, I, I mean, I've lost about 10, 15 pounds this year, but my upper arms stayed the same. I'm so annoyed. Heather, um, you are killing it. It is time to like pull in a device to do what I can't right. do, because right now I feel like there's water retention, there's mus there's lack of muscle going on there. Like it's just kind of gone blah. Like I need to start like getting my device out and actually really working on these areas. And I do thoroughly recommend that when you invest in a device like this, you make sure you put it somewhere and have a plan for how you're gonna use it. Right. Because the natural instinct is to put it in your bathroom and intend to use it after the shower. Never happens, we're always busy. We're always trying to dash out the door. Very true. So here's what I do. Um, I will put mine in the living room in the drawer of the, of the end table. Okay. And then it gets plugged in and it gets done while I'm watching TV. So I'll be in Perfect. my, in my robe too. with probably like just underwear on or something. My husband 100% approves of this. And then I'll just I'm be sure there with a leg out doing some thigh. Um, yeah. It's entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> if nothing else. He, you're watching the show and he's watching you. Yeah, and then I'm just like, you know, working the, working the thigh yeah. area while we're, you know, watching, you know, Yellowstone or whatever. Yeah. Talking, you know. Yeah, you have to use your device. And the cool thing with this is it's 10 minutes. Now, like I said, you can double up on a different treatment or a different area because, I mean, if you have it out to me, I would just be using it. Like, if I'm gonna watch a show, I'm gonna do more than 10 minutes. So you might do, you know, your arms, the 10 minutes. Well, that's when the, like, the whole hour treatment comes in. Oh, like, yeah. You one leg, then the other right. leg, and then I'm like, booty time. Yeah, oh, and don't, yeah, you gotta get that booty. And, <laughs> and the top of the leg where, you know, it meets, that's always like, you know, you wanna tighten and firm that part. Yeah. You know, cellulite I mean, is a thing, and we all things. have it, but you, you definitely can slim the arms of the RF underneath here. It'll help the skin, because if you lose weight, which is wonderful, but if you um, now need to tighten the muscle and the skin, so the EMS tightens the muscle, it's gonna contract your muscles and it's yeah. going to help bring it up. And then, you know, you're gonna have a little bit of lax skin if you've lost some weight, and that's what the RF does. Ah. So the RF is going to like shrink wrap your skin. Oh. So it's great technology. Sign me up, sign yeah, me up. Yeah, it's professional technology and it's in a home device. This is, an amazing device for five technologies, and um, I don't know what the price is on this, but. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, do we have a comparison? Should we look at that first? Okay, that's, that's great. And while, while DJ pulls sense. that comparison up, um, let me just give you one other tip. It's okay to add this to your kid's chore list. If there's a bit that you can't reach <laughs> or you can't be bothered with. Who's doing that? You got your kids trained. I, I'm like, yeah, so you need to put your laundry out, you need to load the dishwasher, and then you need to do my neck with a massager. Oh my god! You can add this to the list. I gotta go to the Heather's School of Parenting. <laughs> my kids will they would be like, what? No, see ya. Or they'll be like, we need a ride to this, we need a new dress for homecoming, we need this, we need this, and then we need you to buy us a load of jewelry from work to wear about dresses, and we need this, we need this. I'm like, oh, fuck, what are you gonna do for me? And they're like, um, I'm like, don't worry. <laughs> I have a list. Nothing. 
Uh, and be, not just because it's convenient for me, but because it's give and take, it's pros and cons. It's, it's when I when I when I'm spending the week like doing this and this and this and this and this for them, they've got to give back. Of course, give back to back Always. mom. Yes, you make your kids do stuff in life. You have to do stuff. Yeah, and start them early. <laughs> Put some money in the bank of mom, and you know you can withdraw later. All right, so our comparison here. Wow. Okay, seven thousand and nine hundred ninety-five dollars. That's a lot of money, but for mm -hmm. a device like this, which you know a professional could use in a salon and charge you two hundred dollars a go for. Oh, easy. Well, that's just you're going to buy a package because yeah. you're not going to get out there. You're not going to get out of there with just one. Uh, treatment. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. And that's the joy of having these devices, because uh, Ch Chuck told us the whole story a long time ago, but I'll I'll recap it here. Uh, the reason these devices are even available to the public is because the pandemic hit, and the salons were closed, and the manufacturers were like, "Oh my goodness, we need a new market. We we right. we can't sell to a closed salon, so now we need to make it available to people at home." And that's the only reason that we've been able to get our hands on this kind of technology is because the te the the pandemic forced it. And now we're in a situation where consumers are like, nah, I want, I oh, want access. The genie I, is out of the bottle. That's it. There I've is seen no it going now. back in. I've seen it now. And now it it um, it frightens me the amount they charge me for a package of like, you know, five or ten right. treatments. And then I've got to make the appointment. I've got to turn up. I've got to get there. I've yeah. And, and just, let's be honest, like sometimes it's like kind of uncomfortable, you know, when you're going and you, you do have to make the time. You do have to carve out time and then you you are kind of like you know at the esthetician or whoever you're with it's up to them to hopefully give you a great treatment enough time because I've seen many times things turn on and people leave rooms and I'm like no no no, no. and you have no control and you're paying a bunch of money yeah. and it's under your control um, you can make your own like Heather said schedule where um, I actually have a sheet at my house where I, I do I, I do make a schedule I, Monday through Friday. Sunday is like my day where if I can hit more at once, but I try to do a little bit each day with different technologies <laughs> um, in different areas. But you can make it part of your routine and you own the machine and you can concentrate on areas that you want to concentrate on. Not, you know, 200 for this area, another, I mean, hips are their own area, mm. <laughs> let alone yes. the bum, the legs, the thighs, yeah. I mean, all the areas. So it's for your discretion, for your liking, for what technology you want to work on under the arms. And sometimes in those salons, it's a little more intense. And um, like I said, you don't really always have control. I mean, sometimes they turn it on and walk away and then 10 minutes and you're like, Oh my gosh, you yeah. know, you're like, oh, turn it down or whatever but else. You're in complete control here because you exactly. decide and you can build up slowly to the, to the heavier technologies. So the, yeah. the comparison we saw was like seven thousand yeah. um, dollars. That is probably how much the sal salons pay because that's they're going to use right. it for commercial use, and mm -hmm. they're they're gonna they're gonna get two hundred dollars every time they turn that thing off. Right. Okay, you're gonna pay less than three hundred dollars. You're gonna pay two ninety nine ninety nine mm -hmm. for yours, and it's unlimited spa treatments for forever. Basically. And five five guy five technologies. Five technologies. Not one. it's not a single technology which. Three hundred dollars. If you had one technology, that would be completely reasonable. You're getting five in that's this it. device, and it's sixty dollars on budget pay, which is awesome because yeah. that's less than you pay for one visit to the to the, to oh, the yeah. salon to get it done. Um, we call it the body contour slimming and cellulite burning device. I love the fact that this is working on the fat cells. This is working on fluid retention, and this is working on pulling the skin back in afterwards. So it's not right. leaving you with a saggy skin. No. It's working on everything all at once to make you look more contoured, your best version of yourself. And for sixty dollars a month, yeah, yeah. And, and let's get that. real. I mean, we do diet and we do exercise. We all want to be better versions of ourselves, and we work on it hard. Heather is like on her own journey, which I admire, and she's a runner, which I've already said is like, <laughs> to me. I'm like, why? Why? why are we, where are we running from? I'm only running if like <laughs> you can get to the bakery quicker if you run. I'm only running if someone's chasing me or if I'm running towards something good. Um, I'll speed walk. I'll uh, what was it called? Prancing? I'll prance. Um, but running, it's a little much. Anyways, my point is, is that you can do all those things and still, still, it's so sad. You can have problem areas. So, you know, Heather said she lost weight, but her arms still bother her. Yeah. For me, it's yeah. like, no matter what, it's like I always feel like I got a lot, you know, happening, and other parts will slim out, but it 
for some reason, you know, I've just got, I need a little extra something. And this could be like the step that your body is just receptive to this, mm -hmm. you know, maybe not so much diet or exercising and you know, you just need a little, little something more and this is it. This will help smooth those areas that no matter what, are you just not reaching. And I love that we've rhinestoned it as well. Like that is just, that is just the little it's extra pants. Pants. Well, it's, it's your, it's Heather's show. So of course there's going to be rhinestones. Of course it's the fancy version. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so yeah, can't recommend it enough, guys. This is something that puts puts your body in your hands. You get, right. you have the control. Um, that is so so important. Don't forget to send off your guarantee card when yours arrives. Um, that's that's important as well. Maintenance very very simple on this one. You're just going to clean it with a lightly dampened cloth um, along the bottom there, and then you know you're going to it's going to plug in every time you use it. So there's no charging. There's no remembering to plug it in. It just stays plugged in. Right. And um, DJ, does this have a warranty on it? Because I believe Luna Moore does. Mm. Customize your care. Package includes. Well, I'll, I can find out if you want to. I'll find out, but I'm pretty sure there's a warranty on this yeah, too. Probably so, so you can buy with confidence. And anyways, with Shop LC, you have a month yeah, to you have reach. You get 30 guarantee. days with Shop LC, but Luna Moore themselves uh, gives a warranty as well. Yeah, it will come in your box here, all ready to go, ready to gift. This could be the perfect gift, guys. If you don't know what to get your wife. This, this will always be a good idea because it puts the control in her hands. If she doesn't love it, then um, you can return it, no questions asked. But she's gonna right. be so amazed that you even know about this stuff. And you can be like, this is the five in one, no other device does this. I got mm -hmm. you this one because it has every feature you could possibly want. Right. You won't need another body device, just this one. That is that is the joy, and you were gonna look like you know exactly what you're talking about. You'll be like, Heaven, Stacy told me to get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and she'll hit those body parts, and she'll feel better, more confident, slimmer, tighter. And you know what, we guys? All want that. You can use it too. There's nothing that oh, says but please do. you can't iron out those love handles with this. If you've got an upper arm issue that's bothering you, uh, skin tone issues, muscle tone issues, you can use it too, guys. It's of course. Definitely not a gendered product here. This is for everyone who wants to make everything just a little bit better. A little bit better. All right, I think we need to move along. All right. We've got a few more things to get to. Um, it does come with its little shoe. <laughs> Love that. Come to the shoe. Oh, perfect. So that it can uh, it can be um, put away neatly as well. Uh, we do have to get onto our jojoba oil because I almost skipped over that. Um, gotta love a bit of jojoba oil. First thing we're gonna do is start digging into this. Wait, there's two here. Yes. Oh, okay. So your kit is gonna come with the big one for your bathroom at home and the little one for traveling with, and that is under the regulation size for flying. That is a 1.7 or a 50 mil. You need um, three, three fluid ounces to fly with, right? Yeah, three fluid ounces if you're gonna fly. Oh yes. Billy. Yeah, so this mm -hmm. will go in your travel on, tra uh, carry on, this will go uh, in your main bathroom at home. I love the way they've done the um, the frosted glass look. That's so important with uh, with oils because otherwise your bottle gets all smeary. Oh, yeah. All the little details are here. It's going to come in a spray, which is going to spray on this wonderful oil. And the difference, of course, if you've never seen our jojoba oil presentations, the first thing you need to know is this isn't an oil as such. It is a wax ester. Ester. That's the word I'm looking for. That is important because. You see, I'm going to put this all over my arms here, and within a second, I don't look like I've been greased up, okay? That's important. A wax ester is exactly what the natural oils in your skin are. So your skin just accepts it. It just goes, oh yeah, I recognize this, <laughs> sucks it all up. That's why we don't say, use the jojoba oil with our body slimming devices. No, you won't get any slip. <laughs> you won't, uh, because you put it on your skin, and your skin just immediately drinks it. Um, which means um, the moisture just goes straight in, it doesn't sit on the surface, it's perfect for instant absorption. It goes straight into the skin, your body's expecting it, it knows it, it uses it. It's a wonderful moisturizer that leaves you non-greasy. It's also incredibly healing and calming as well. And I tested this out at about three o'clock in the morning one day. Um, as you guys know here, I'm allergic to everything on the planet. And sometimes I have days when my allergies just kind of build. So in the morning, they'll be, I'll be, 
there'll be some pollen, I'll get some like hay fever symptoms. And then I'll go and like dust the spare room and I'm allergic to dust and that will just make it a little bit worse again. Uh, and then I'll meet another allergen, you know, I'll meet a dog or something and then that and then by the time I got to the studio, it was a Friday when we do ten dollar Friday and the and the mixed metals, the mystery metals oh. set me off <laughs> really badly. Oh. So I'd had a chain on um, and I think it's one that I'd been wearing for quite a while just to just to promo all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And this pendant um, had been touching my skin for too long on a day when I was already kind of allergied up because it builds Ooh, with me. Yeah. Um, and then I had this like massive red welt. <laughs> it's kind of like, so I took the thing off and I was like, oh wow. And I had a welt right here and I was like, I've got to show, I've got to show chains later. Like what am I going to yeah. do? So I, I left Chris hosting and just went off <laughs> and he's like and so he carries on the show and I and I wandered to the back and I found our jojoba oil and I was like that's gonna help right I'm like well it's not gonna it's, it's hypoallergenic it's not gonna cause me any harm so I'm gonna try that so I grabbed some jojoba oil smothered it all on my chest and thought nothing of it and it wasn't instant because it was it was it's a natural process your body doesn't move that quickly but within about half an hour, by the time it took to get onto the next chain, mm -hmm. I looked down and that massive angry red patch had faded right down. And I was like, oh, thank goodness. And by the end of the show, whoosh, gone. And I was just like, yay, my jojoba oil. Because um, I've heard all about it. We've, we've all like heard the pitch. We all get very, very excited about it. But I've ne I'd never actually put it to the test before. I've never been like, right, you've got a time limit. You've got to get rid of this red welt right now. And that's exactly what it did. And I was like, thank goodness we have this in the studio all the time. So now it's my go-to for any little oopsies in my skin. Stacey, what do you love it for? Oh, my gosh. This is like... Let me put that down. So jojoba oil is... I mean, this sounds dramatic, but it, it actually is not. It is kind of like a miracle oil because it has so many different uses to it. Yeah. Um, Karen likes to say it's like a desert island product because oh. if you get, it's antibacterial, it's antifungal, it seeps into your skin. So most oils and lotions, they are on the top of your skin. They are not going to reach deep, deep down into your skin. It's called jojoba oil, but I mean, it's not really an oil. It's like a, it's a fatty wax. Mm. Um, it comes from a jojoba bean and it is most like our own sebum in our skin. So our body recognizes it and it accepts it and it wants it and it uses it and it draws it in. Um, it, you can use it on burns. Ooh. You can use it on cuts. You can use it for, um, you know, when you get out of the sun to soothe your skin. Oh yeah. It's very, very, very moisturizing. And like you said, it, once you, you just need a little bit too like this. And I have very dry skin. And it just will soak right in. And your skin just drinks it up. I mean, it's it's such a universal product that you can use it on babies. You can use it for, I mean, I'm sure we have a list. You can use it for dandruff. You can use it to smooth the cuticle of yeah, your hair. Yeah, do we have a slide on uses for it? Yeah. Um, I use it a lot on my lips. Here we go. Uh, improves hair texture. Yes, it does. Nourishes and moisturizes the skin, protects hair moisture, revitalizes skin and hair. So I would avoid the roots personally. Yeah, don't put it on the roots, but just a little dot like this. Like I'm very like frizzy hair, dry skin, Super. always in the sun. I know it's wrong, whatever, but I mean, <laughs> I love the sun. Um, so mine is super fine, but it does get dry. I have to be very careful about what goes on it because it'll get like pulled down very, very quickly. But this doesn't. Like you just, you need a dot on your hair. You know, just concentrate on your ends. It's nourishing for your hair. Um, my lips are always constantly dry and chapped. It's perfect for that. Ooh. Let's see. Um, you can use it to remove your makeup at night. Um, there's no, you're not, it has nothing in it that's harsh. Okay, the thing about jojoba oil is that there, like Heather, how she's very reactive to everything. Mm -hmm. Yep. Jojoba oil is the exact opposite. It's nourishing. It's not going to harm your skin. It's not going to irritate you. You are not going to have a reaction to it. It's going to soothe and calm your skin. And this one is all natural, organic agreement, uh, ingredients. This says antibacterial for acne. 
because you know acne is bacteria so it's gonna yeah. eradicate that and a lot of those acne treatments are just so drying so drying yeah. so that it's like almost like a double whammy because it'll help um, eradicate the bacteria but then on top of that it will nourish your skin so you don't get dry flaky skin which mm -hmm. you know and that's one of the things that David talks about is it's, it's one of the things he's been talking to me about like I used to get really really oily skin when I went out and sat under the hot lights right and he's like you need to moisturize I was like that's counterintuitive he's like your skin was thirsty right it's overproducing the lights make it worse yes. you need to make sure you moisturize before you go out there because it's because your body wants to be in uh, equilibrium. So if you you actually are like you're like oh I'm oily, but you're it's overproducing the oil. So yeah. this is also you can use this oily skin, dry skin, um, damaged skin, uh, younger skin, mm -hmm. older skin. When people are older and they get kind of that cracked. Um, you know sores and everything on their skin mm -hmm. it's okay to use it's an extremely nourishing oil yeah so and you, you see a lot of these conditions are their skin conditions like eczema rosacea um keratosis pilaris which is those little like um like white bumps, white bumps. oh i yeah. had that as a kid my, my gets that yes i know i wonder if you get it more as a kid because i had it as a kid too yeah um okay so that's like for skin conditions fine lines and wrinkles because it penetrates you into your skin i know <laughs> like, yep. uh, it minimizes dark spots and pigmentation it minimizes skin damage because it's re it's nourishing your skin yeah diminishes uh overactor oil production that's right. you helps skin redness and stimulates collagen it's kind of like it really is like i said it sounds dramatic but um as far as lotions go and oils go usually they're particular to a certain skin condition and this yeah. is kind of like a one and all it's definitely great to travel with especially you know? if you've got yes. the one here uh -huh. yeah because yeah, when you're on vacation you still need these things perhaps even more so if you're out in the sun maybe you've been on the beach and you've got like salty skin that's right. dried out mm -hmm. um, there's so many reasons why this one would be the perfect one to travel with perfect. Um, looking at the container here this has got natural ingredients it is a vegan product, it's cruelty free, and it is organic. Um, so basically it's covering all bases. I'm presuming it's gluten free as well because <laughs> there is nothing to Yes, use. don't go drinking it though. Yeah. But if you bring this drinking. on vacation, this one little tiny bottle can replace like 15 products because let's say you're traveling with kids and your your little one gets out of the bath, you can put jojoba oil on your baby. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you have a littler one with you know cradle cap, jojoba oil, your husband's sunburned and he's you know pulling his skin and it's like cracking. Or torn his face up shaving. Or shaving, oh, exactly, oil. jojoba oil. You know, you can use it at the end of your, your night of your vacation. Take off your makeup, you just put a little, don't put water on your face first because water and oil don't mix. So what, a lot of people do that, but don't do that. Start with just oil the jojoba on your face and it'll break everything up and then rinse and then ah. and then your skin will be moisturized soft you don't even need a moisturizer so it replaces the moisturizer repeat replaces your aloe vera um, replaces your baby lotions replaces an aftershave it replaces so many things just traveling with this guy right here that's interesting it says on our website here it's safe to use around the eye area mm -hmm. how many moisturizers do you want anywhere near your eyes like yeah. if you get like dry flaky eyelids or even if you sunburn your eyelids which is the worst. Oh, it's the worst. It happens when you fall asleep in the sun, I've checked. Um, then um, you can soothe it using this because it's safe to use around the eye area. How many how many moisturizers can you say that about? Uh, not many. Yeah. Usually one specific to the eye area, and which is very odd. Some of them say don't use on the eye area. And they're eye creams. So, yeah. you know, jojoba oil is really just a gift from nature. It hits so many ailments. And then also on top of that, it's also just such, um, the feel of your skin is so soft and nourished. And it's not slick and oily, so you can put on your clothes, because that's another pet peeve oh, of mine. Yeah. When you're like oiled up, and then you put something <laughs> on, and you're like, oh my gosh, now it's stained. It doesn't do that. So yeah. Like, I put it on, Heather put it on. And your skin has like a nice, beautiful glow to it. It looks yeah. plumper and moisturized, but it's not an oil slick. You know? That's good. That's good. Uh, I wish I didn't have pants on because I need this on my knees. I've the oh. driest knees in the world, and they wrinkle up when they're dry, and they oh. make they are just they just make the rest of me look so old. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll put it on your elephant knees. Or yeah. <laughs> 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 you 
You don't have elephant knees. No, you're right. Use it and you're good to go. No, you literally just nailed it. <laughs> but that's incredibly accurate. I'm kind of sad, but I'm actually, it's quite nice to have oh, a wife. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you're like gorgeous, modest <laughs> walking through with your nice stuff. And... All right. Um, so do we have a price comparison on our yes. Hoho Buff? Because this stuff does not come cheap. No, it does not. not. With this kind of purity as well. Um, so our Hoho oil there, that one is a certified organic. That one is going to be... $105. And you don't get the extra travel size. No. This is so valuable, this travel size. Now, I would say be very wary of jojoba oil found out on the internet. Mm. Sometimes it is jojoba oil, but it's cut with like other carrier oils. So I brought this one over. Is that Does focus? it say on the back? It just it says it is made from jojoba seed oil. And that's Perfect. It. That's exactly that what it is. should read. It, yep. That's what it should read. Cold pressed, 100% organic and certified. It is just jojoba oil, nothing else, no carriers, no extras, no preservatives. Vitamins A, D, and E, omega-6 and 9. It's for hair, it's for body, it's for all skin types. Mm -hmm. It nourishes, it moisturizes. It's hypoallergenic, very important. It's right. cruelty-free and it is vegan. And this is the stuff that we import specifically for us. This is just ours. So you're getting amazing quality in the fact that it's pure and it's organic and that there's no mixes and cheaper Yeah, oils. you don't want it mixed with anything else because you're gonna honestly get this into like your, you know, nooks and cracks and whatever um because you can use it all over um oh, that's my vocal <laughs> stacy i'm just saying you can, you can use it all over um so you don't want any fillers any parabens any of that junk and no. usually a jojoba will be listed in there because it is very expensive i mean it is harvested and you know cold pressed and there's a lot to it yeah that Obviously, it's not going through like it's not being heated, which degrades the quality. Oh, of... Yeah, cold press is important. Yeah, so it's, it's a little bit more labor intensive to it. So you want to make sure it's pure. So that comparison is that the two hundred mil size that they had in their comparison? That would be hundred. Okay, so that's half the size of this in our comparison there. That's mm -hmm. one hundred mils. This is two hundred for this one, and then you get your extra fifty mil travel size. Um, so you're going to get both of those. They're at 105.18. We're at 49.99. 49.99 so for liquid gold. Liquid gold. Yeah, liquid gold. Uh, Ten dollars on budget pay if that's the way that you want to do it. And it can be used everywhere on everyone. Mm -hmm. Your newest newborn babies, your oldest family right. members. I mean, the older you get, the more you need the moisture putting back in. Oh, 100 percent. That's everyone. so true. Use it on your man if your skin's a bit rough. Oh. If his feet are a bit rough. Yeah. Then you can use it on your cracked heels as well. Like. You know, when you change seasons, like, <laughs> I always give, like, weird tips. Like, okay. sorry. I, like, well, I'm kind of a weird like, person. Stacey's on the good one here. No, I'm, like, a weird person. But, uh, no, but you, literally each season, like, you got to get to your feet. Like, be it summer, winter, spring. Like, when the season turns, pay attention to your feet. Give it a good cleaning and a good get in there. And then um, you can put this on and put some socks on baby skin oh there we go don't don't so, neglect your feet and your men men out there that's that's no bueno yeah you, men you we're talking to, to you yes we're talking to you right now <laughs> yeah all right well we're going from liquid gold to actual gold now we've got about oh, oh 10 minutes oh, left shoot. okay and we need to get through the gold that we're wearing okay, today that's been flashing i love this i want to see the price okay where are we starting with the okay this is the mariner chain that i'm wearing right here i have it with a pendant that's going to come up next this is going to be an 18 karat gold 1.5 mil mariner necklace it's 18 inches 1.1 five grams of gold um, I'm not gonna do any comparisons DJ because we haven't got time and because you already know our gold prices beat everyone else's I, I don't think I need to prove that point mm -hmm. uh, we're at 177.99 uh, budget pay $35.60 don't forget everything I tell you about on the show today is at that price for 24 hours and that is it what else have we got Which I have... Ooh, wait, hold on. Nope. wait actually yes the pendant yes here we go uh, the three dimensional pendant. Now this one is in 22 karat gold. It isn't it fancy? So I, I, I watch the uh, the runways, I watch the designer roundups, I, I follow all, all the fashion channels on my news apps. And one of the things I'm following is like jewelry trends, designer mm -hmm. jewelry, that kind of thing. Three dimensional is in, three dimensional is in. High quality gold is in the 22, the 20, the 24 karat gold is having a fashion moment. Of course, it is always going to be valuable, 
but right now it's trending as well. So a lot of the designers now are dipping the turn the water of these really, really high-end pieces. This one is three grams of 22 karat gold, 22 parts out of 24 pure gold. Tiniest smidge of alloy for strength and durability. This one is a little more because it's so pure, but this one's 627.99 or 125.60 when you put it on budget pay. Okay, where are we going next? Okay, my ring. So when we had this on the main broadcast channel, um, Fabian had to tell me, because I thought these were stamens in the middle of the flower. They're actually pistols, which oh. come before the stamens. Oh, okay. Uh, the little flower anatomy lesson oh. from... <laughs> so these things go on So if there, were, if there were stamens, they would, the stamens would come out here. Oops. Oops, DJ. Oh, oops. <laughs> Um, so yeah, the stamens would come out. So it's, I love the detail and of this with this ring because you have all the little pistols yes. in the middle there. Then your first layer of petals is done in the brushed effect, and then you have every other petal picked out in the polish effect. Three dimensional. They they make it by electroforming, which is where they have like a cast and they and they put it in a bath and then they pass a current through. You know when you do the cathode and anode experiments in school? Mm -hmm. It's like that, but with gold. Right, and that's then it sticks to it. And that's yeah. basically the process, it's how they make it, it's how they do the three dimensional rings. Um, it's 1.9 grams of gold. It looks like more than that, but that's where the electroforming process comes in. It allows them to create these intricate designs, but without using a, a lot of gold. So you get the look, you get the, you know, you get the look of something that's worth thousands but you get it at a shop else's price point. Uh, so we're in 24 karat gold here. This is a pure gold ring that I'm wearing. Oh it's kind of special. You're gonna get frisked. Yeah. Yeah, DJ will be like, okay, ring, check. Mm -hmm. What have you got? Uh, it's far too easy to walk out, out of here wearing $3,000 worth of product. I know I've done it accidentally. <laughs> I always like turn the car around and look at the middle of the freeway and come running back. Um, so this, I didn't get the price on that, sorry. Oh. This one, 24 karat, pure gold, four seventy nine ninety nine on ninety six dollars on budget pay. Love the three dimensional look. Okay, now we can move. Okay, uh, my earrings, which are the same sort of floral motif, but these have the little tassel dangles, which I'm loving. We're still in twenty four karat gold here, pure gold earrings. Luxury upon luxury upon luxury. Four point seven five grams of gold here, one thousand one hundred and seventy nine ninety nine or two hundred and thirty six on budget pay. Are we going to this one? Uh, Stacy wearing that one? I think oh, so. Oh, I have this one. Sorry. Oh, no, no, no. This is my second chain. Sorry, I forgot I was wearing two chains. Uh, so we're in 14 karat gold. This is a 3 mil Cuban in a 24 inch length. Uh, the 3 mil gauge and being 24 inches, definitely a unisex chain. Uh, works as an over the sweater look for the ladies, or if you're taller or of larger stature, it's going to work perfectly as a as a neckline piece for you. Uh, Seven point three grams of gold here. Um, Seven ninety seven ninety nine, or one hundred and fifty nine sixty when you put it on budget pay. Guys, any of these gold prices can be easily researched on the web. I'm not showing you the comparisons because of time restraints, but also because you already know we beat the pants off the competition when it comes to gold prices. It's just a given. We don't even buy the item unless we know we can get it to you for a fraction of what everyone else charges for it. Okay, moving on, if you would. Okay, now we go to the bracelet, which I love, 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 love. So this is what we're calling a Figaro paperclip. Um, I believe because of the alternating sizes of the links here, which is giving it that name, so we've taken a classic and given it a little twist. I love that. We're gonna be in a seven inch length here. This is gonna be a three mil gauge. So a good enough size to be seen, but still be delicate, not too chunky. Um, 1.85 grams of gold. We're in 14 karat gold here. And we are 199.99 or $40 on budget pay. I would rock that Oh, day. every day, 14 karat gold? Yes. For sure. Love that. You're gonna to have to wrestle me for that when I leave, DJ. All right, moving on. DJ's like, bring it, I'm a champion. Yeah. Okay, this one is, um, I'm just looking at the hallmark on the monitor behind you if you're wondering. It's, see it says 10K, it's almost got a line next to it that looks like it says 40K. I'm like, who's, who's, who's hallmarking 40 karat gold? And if so, I want some. 
Um, so this is called Agnello Montefilo Adulto Lucid Lucidatura Idiamonte. It's a diamond cut multi band ring and it's so, so fun. Let me pull this in a little bit closer. Um, so this is going to have alternating rings. Some are polished, some are diamond cut. It's really three dimensional. It's really fun. It's really wow. designer. It's in 10 karat gold. So perfect for people like me who are literally incredibly heavy handed like a 10 karat gold ring because it stands up to my knocks and bumps. Um, 10 karat course, 10 parts pure gold. The rest of your 24 carats is made up of alloys for strength and durability and goodness I need it. Um, but this one is going to be $379.99 or $76 on budget pay. But we only have it in sizes 6 and 7. How many have we got, DJ? We have... Eight. Eight. And that's it between those two sizes. So limited quantities on that one. And my last item... Is oh. that in shot? <laughs> DJ, is that in shot? Oh. <laughs> Can you see that? Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. Here we go. So this one is actually meant to be a bracelet, uh, but I have draped it across my ankle here uh, because it is a nine inch, I believe. When you're in the DJ. <laughs> I can't say that. Well, that's not the I got to change the screen. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh goodness. Let me just let me just scoot a chair in if we're gonna be oh, all, gosh, all week Heather, about it. Don't put your purse on the ground. Oh. Okay. Am I in shot? There you go. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay, so uh, this one is this one, right? Uh, no, I'm that is the very one. last one. It was actually number twenty. Uh -oh. We're doing fourteen for. A... Oh, sorry, I went to the sorry. last one. Okay, uh, this one is going to be ten karat gold. It is a palmer chain. It is nine inches. It is a 2.5 mil chain. It is 2.8 grams of gold. It's 209.99, 42 dollars in budget pay. Size seven and a half and eight have sold out, so we have it in eight and a half and the nine inches. You're looking at the nine inches that fits on my on my ankle here, but this will work for a bracelet for those of you who have larger wrists, who like a bit of a drape, or this might be the perfect piece for the man in your life as well. Oh yeah, a little bit closer up. She might be one for the guys. All right, Stacy, what have you got? What have I got? That's Heather, that's Heather. Uh, is that me? I think so. Okay. I have 14 karat gold swirl hoop earrings. These are like little huggy earrings. Perfect, These are I wear these every day. You can sleep on them. Obviously, 14 karat gold, durable, live your life thoroughly and you don't have to worry about it. So these are $59.99 to me, especially if you have multiple piercings, they are a staple because I always usually wear, oh, well, I, I had this in. So graduating hoops. Yeah. <laughs> and then this one's like usually a baby one, but I have a diamond. Um, okay, so $59.99, very cute. Okay. Next, dish. $12 on budget pay. Oh, sorry, go ahead, Re recall it. Uh, 14 karat, five payments, $12. On budget pay. <laughs> On budget cool. pay. All Get right. you some 14 karat hoops. All right. Okay, 10 karat palma chain, 22 inches, 6.1 grams. I like this. Mm -hmm. And a 2.5 mil gauge and 22 inches. Definitely mm -hmm. a unisex piece, some of the guys could rock too. Yeah, I like the bigger, bolder jewelry that we're featuring. Mm. Um, Very nice. Okay. Uh, five payments, ninety-one dollars and sixty cents. Four fifty-seven ninety-nine is your final price. Okay. Now this little cutie right here is like a diamond cut butterfly. Mm. Ten karat gold. I like the texture on that mm -hmm. one. That's that's giving it the edge. Yeah, I had it flipped around, and I was like, I, and then I looked, and I flipped it this way. And I was like, oh no. I, li I like the little glitter That's effect to it. Fun going on. Um, it is $69.99. Butterflies are universal. Everybody loves a butterfly. Rebirth. It symbolizes so many different things. Metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. Generally being fabulous and beautiful. Yes, exactly. So this is really adorable. Anybody would be thrilled to get a little butterfly. And $14 on budget pay. And $14 on budget pay. It's like so, like, so good. Right? Okay, this guy, my bracelet, is 10 karat yellow gold, 3.3 millimeter quint 
rope chain. Yeah, so a quint rope yeah, is almost it? like um, it's like a rope chain, but it has it's more three dimensional. It's more defined. So a quint rope is ropier than a regular rope. Oh, that's yeah. <laughs> those it, are technical it, it terms. Gives you more definition. You get more in and out. If that makes sense. It's beautiful. What sizes do we have in this? I because I have to it's shop. It's size eight it's just, only. Just eight, yeah. so okay, well, size you eight know, only in that one. That one's that got works. your lobster claw closure on it, and it has got two point three five grams of gold. Yeah, very nice size. Like you can see this. Mm, I like a bit of drape on a bracelet. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, one seventy seven ninety nine there, or thirty five sixty when you put it on budget pay. Mama. And there's the ring. Okay, uh, go. Maestro? Maestro Gold Collection. Okay, Maestro Gold Collection Italian 10 karat yellow gold diamond cut ring, 1.35 grams. And it goes all the way around the diamond cut. Um, sizes six, seven, and eight left. I, I would recommend not trying to resize this one because that diamond cut is 360. So you want to leave this intact, otherwise you're going to have a mark where you where you recut it and rebuild it. Right, and luckily we have plenty of sizes, six, seven, and eight. Um, one twenty-seven ninety-nine five budget pays at twenty-five dollars and sixty cents. I mean, it's a low stock warning on that one. So if that's the one you love, throw it in your cart. I love this, and I love yours. Uh, I mean this, but this. This one. Oh yeah. These oh, are cool. oh, oh, oh. These are cool. So good. Is did that we, it? Am I good? Did we get through everything? Yeah, that's everything. Okay. Oh, and we're four o'clock on the dot. And four o'clock on the nose. How good is that? Um, it's like we're professionals or something. Know, right? Well, thank you so much for watching us today. Um, a big shout to Big Joe who commented today. If you have any more comments, throw them in right now before we go. If you've got stuff in your cart, make sure you check out because that quantity and those prices aren't hanging around. Uh, tomorrow's live stream, who's going to be in tomorrow? Yeah. I know I'll be back on Friday. You will be? Yes. Oh, nice. Back in on okay. Friday for the live stream. Perfect. It is... We don't know. Oh, surprise guest. You might see me then. We'll see. Um, <laughs> you never know. Uh, so, yeah. So, more live stream action happening tomorrow with a mystery host. Um, we'll see who that is. <laughs> yeah. It's supposed to be an AI conference tomorrow. Maybe okay, we'll, we'll see. see. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, so keep shopping. If your car is over $50, you're going to get free shipping. Check mm. out now because you don't miss the prices because DJ's influence wears off after a while. Even he can't keep those prices down forever. Mm. Um, and I think that's everything. Like, follow, share, tell a friend, and we'll see you again tomorrow, same time, same place. See you there. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, Heather. Thank you, Stacey. Oh, so sweet. So fun. I love working with you. Okay, now before we end, we do gotta do a top three. End of show. You wanna do a top top three? Yeah, we've been doing that lately, just like okay. recording a separate thing. Oh, recording a separate thing, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, do you, have, sure. do you have suggestions? Um, well, I think we should do, I'll do this jumper. Um, one of us definitely should do this device. Okay, then I'll... Yeah, yeah, just whatever okay, you can fit. Okay, so divide the jumper. Okay. okay. Well, we can do it. Top four is just two of us. Yeah, sure. You can do it. Break the rules. Top four. I love that. I'm like, yeah, I want to get some big, like, chunky, full.